Okay, so we need to talk about something, Chad. Everyone listen. Shut the fuck up and listen for a second. We need to talk about something, okay? Is everyone listening right now? Are you listening? Okay, we need to we need to talk about something before the stream can actually start, okay? Hi, it's me, Milton. I got a haircut, okay? Got a haircut, right? Went out, got a haircut. Now, what I want to do is I want to leave it long enough on the top that I can eventually braid it. I want to I want to turn it into a braid that can go down the middle, right? So for now, this is what my hair looks like. Now, I want to show you chat the fucking image that I was just tagged in on Twitter. No, hold on. I want to show you the image that I was just tagged in on Twitter, chat, and you can you can give me your fucking thoughts on this. What the fuck? Hold on. Hey. What? Ah. Uh, hey. What? Okay, hold on. Damn it. This fucking thing. Fucking thing sucks. Okay. It's fine. No, it's fine, chat. Don't worry about it. Okay, image. Yep. All right. Here. Good. Look what? What? What is this? It was awesome to see you on the Price is Right show today, Milton. What the fuck? That was 20 minutes ago. This was before I went live, chat. No one knew my fucking haircut. What is this? What the fuck? That is not what I look like. That's not what I look like. <laughs> God damn it. For fuck's sake. You know, why do I even bother? Did I win? Shut up. How about that? How about shut your mouth? Huh? How's that sound? <laughs> All right, chat. We're playing GG Nolan today, okay? <laughs> it's not accurate. It's not the same picture. <laughs> Looks like was the price was wrong, huh? Shut up. Shut. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Toxic straight out of the gate. Get away from me. I am being harassed. I'm being harassed by you, chat. Okay, we're good. Um, all right. Give me a second here. Um, okay, now give me a second, chat. Holy jeepers. Hey, Lauren, thanks for the tier three for 26 months. Lauren, how are you? Hello. Uh, look at Sharp Man, almost cut my eyes open. Listen, when I can turn this, when I can, when I can turn this into a man braid, then you'll see, all right? Uh, Gigi Nolan is like RP, the most boring person in Los Santos. You'll see, all right? It's just, it's just the normal life of Gigi. Gigi, what's going on with the back of your shirt, dude? Jesus. Uh, Lauren, thanks for the 26 freaking months. That's two six. That's a two six, Lauren. Ghost fairies, thanks for the four months. Okay, this song, gotta go. I don't know what that shit is. It's gotta go. Raymond Strange, thanks for the 17 months. J Reality, J Re Reality. Thanks for the uh, 50 freaking months, Jay. That's a long time. We're not sad today, chat. No way. Today, we're feeling confident. Oh. You may wow. How do I know if I'm worthy? Well, with dedication oh, no, you to, are. to the holy site. Oh, where's the holy site? Well, Leader Limburg hasn't specified to us that information oh, yet. Excuse me. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we are definitely not joining a cult today, chat. We are definitely not joining a cult today. Definitely not. Um, Wet's Feed, thanks for the six months, my friend. Uh, Silver Pee Pee Bear, thanks for the 47 months, Silver Pee Pee Bear. Silver Pee Pee Bear. Okay, confident is a bit too much for GG. We need something more like, uh, hmm, what about heels? That's a bit better. This is a bit more like GG. Okay. Um, ba -dum, 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 ba Super Rikako. Uh, hey, bye. No. Maybe not bye. What are you doing, Super Rikako? Posting your weird links and spooping me? Ah! What are you doing? Posting weird links and spooping me in here, Super Rikako. If you're a person, you'd better, you'd better fucking, you'd better make it known. 
Don't post weird shit in here. That's right. We're mopping up. Oh, wait. We have a bike, don't we? Fuck. We have a bike, chat. Okay. Frisian Knight, thank you for the 28 months, dude. Uh, Esco Bob, thanks for the 21. Two babies down and almost three, and I'm still waiting for some money from you. Yeah, it's, it's safe. It'll be there. Just keep... It's... <laughs> hey, IDK Bears, year and a half. We just did have two babies in a row. That's exactly what that means. Armadillo Skrilla for Pete's Puss. Could you not swear in my uh, alerts already? Thanks. DB, thanks for the 32 months. So happy to be a part of this wonderful community. Well, we're so happy to have you here. Oh. Hi, gentlemen. Hey, sir. I couldn't help but notice you looking all spiffy in your little suit jackets with your little ties on and such. What are y'all up to out here? We're trying to spread the word, sir. The, the word? word of the capitalist church. <gasps> yes, and the holy Kaching, our great leader, Lindberg, a wise man. Has Lindberg? Discovered the truth. Yeah, the gems. They have supernatural abilities, ah. spiritual powers. What? Would you like a pamphlet to read more? Well, you know, I saw this special ones on TV and they had people who was all dressed up fancy like oh. these two, but the difference was they ought to take all their clothes off and do a bunch of drugs. Doing all right, who's this? So, or is that is that in the is that in the plan too? I was thinking maybe you could take my clothes off, I could take your clothes off. Oh, uh, well, uh, sir, we Leader Lindbergh hasn't mentioned anything about taking clothes off, but, um... Uh, well, has... why not take matters into your own hands, is what I say. What's your name, after all? Well, my name is Reese McMillan, sir. Reese Ooh, McMillan? I do have the pleasure of speaking to. Well, Reese, pay no attention to the name tag. Name's not Tim. <laughs> uh, yeah, the old mistakes, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> but on a serious oh. note, I paid seventeen dollars to have this outfit made, and uh, it, oh they put the name right, they put the, the wrong name on the name tag, so it's actually a pretty serious issue. Anyways, what I was gonna yeah. say is, uh, my name's actually G.G. Nolan. G.G. Nolan. Well, nice nice to, meet to meet you, you Mister. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's just like the letters G and then G. Never actually knew what they stood for. My mom and dad took off before I could find out. I always told myself it probably stands for good guy. GG Nolan, good guy Nolan. You are you are giving me good guy vibes, Mr. Nolan. Oh uh, uh, well, you know. Did you like a pamphlet? My mom always says it was like I was dipped in a bowl of sugar when I grew up. But sure, I'd love a pamphlet. And do you have phone oh, number right two? Here. I could send oh, you. Of course, sir. Love course. to send you a couple pictures of me in edible underwear. Uh, here you go, sir. Oh, perfect. Alrighty. The pamphlet's right there on the. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna have a look at that. Hey, Alrighty, if, if, thank you're, you so much, if your church ever needs someone for some sort of like positivity coaching or something like that, you just uh, you just get in touch with your old pal Gigi, okay? Just remember Got me. It. Also, feel free to call Miss. I, I remember me. Gigi. Remember us. I will. Yeah, 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 I will. We share it together, okay? It, okay? Don't forget me. I won't forget, I won't forget about you, okay? I won't forget about you. Okay. Hey, would you not interrupt? We're having a very private conversation over here. Reese just confessed his feelings for me, and I'm going to let him have some time to think about that. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Wayward. What's up, Wayward? Um, Armadilla Skrilla, thanks again for the 14 months. DB, thanks for the tier two for 32 freaking months. Dal Chorus, thanks for the 11 month resub. Zalius, thanks for the 33 months. Last couple weeks have been one of the biggest kick in the groin I've had to endure for a very long time. Appreciate the distraction. Oh my God. Hey, Zalius, I hope that whatever life is putting you through, you're given some fucking respite soon enough, okay? I, I hope it reaches an end. Chat, it's so funny that uh, we were just approached by someone, um, by someone talking about the church of capitalism or, hey, hey, you jerk. Hey, you get back here. I'm gonna kiss you on the mouth. Try to run me over like that, you jerk. Get back here. Hey, hey, you can't just run away. After driving your car by me, get back here and give me your phone number. Okay, chat, we can't turn Gigi into Kiki, okay? Gigi is not just. <laughs> it's not just man Kiki, okay? Relax. Kiss me on mouth. Okay. So I was thinking that something that we could do with Gigi, something because he, he's been working at the bank, right? And that's been a good arc for him, a good story arc. But something that I thought might also be funny would be to have Gigi start like the first church of positivity in Los Santos. And um, 
what I thought would be funny is I could lay out entire sermon plans, uh, having having been a born, baptized, raised, catechized, confirmed Roman Catholic. I've got a pretty good idea of how the uh, how the how it runs. So I thought it might be funny to have people come in and we would just say things like. Uh, why don't you come on in and have a seat over here? Yeah, everyone sit down, okay? And then everyone can sit down and then we can just, Gigi can just launch into a sermon about positivity. I can really shittily play uh, something on the organ. I can really shittily play a little diddle on the organ and then it can be something like, okay, now folks, we're going to do is you're going to stand up and look at your neighbor and say something real nice about them and just have people standing up and sitting down and I'll say things like, all right, now, as, as was taught to us in the way that we all get the dopamine flow and everyone's gonna make their own dolphin noise <laughs> just try to get role players to uh to do the wackiest shit we possibly can um this man looks like he sweats way too much and has to carry a bag of backup shirts with him he does that's a, that's not a that's not an un uh, an unrealistic look at what gg actually is hey <laughs> oh yeah gg for positivity exactly oh my god turn it into wild wild country that's what i was thinking that's what i was thinking exactly uh 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 hey neats oh. thanks for the 20 hey hi 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 how are you doing oh, i'm all right, right. there was just literally uh, a sniper shot oh fired i'm afraid gracious. you're in the area so i'm oh. gonna be looking to gsr oh, you all right my goodness you're gonna have to take me to the you're gonna have to take me to the office all right let's go hey, take me to the no, slammer no, no. let's go hey, come on hey, wee, get wee, the fuck wee, in my car let's get go car. take me come on let's hey, go take me there my let's fucking you, gotta, car. you gotta test nice. me for your gsr get out my fucking, <laughs> i'm gonna fucking put your fingers on the pavement if you don't get your fucking ass in my car oh, get in here what are you waiting for you gotta go test me for the gsr can i go send something over and say the so I got uh -oh. shit in my fucking car. I got I hit it. my fucking I car. Hit it, I hit a surprise in that phone. I'm gonna tase I hit you with fucking 50 fucking bullets. I fucking. I, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to do this? I hit a surprise for you in the public phone booth back there. What the fuck does that oh. mean? Get out of my car, oh. asshole. Oh, you're going. Get out my you're, car. You're going I'm giving you one last fucking warning. Oh, you're going to wish you knew. Hey, you said you needed to GSR test me. What's the big deal here? I don't understand. Oh, yeah, you bad, you bad. Oh, oh, Jesus. What the, what's the big idea here? What, you got fucking ears? You got brains. What? Excuse me. All right, listen here. Here I am, just walking along, minding my own business, and then you come screaming on up on the side of the sidewalk, talking about how you want to touch my hands, and you think you like what I was wearing? Not kicking. Okay, well, just you know, I'm gonna be swiping your hands for some gun residue. See if you got any of your palms. Can you be finding any guns you Not kicking. Have I fired any guns? Excuse me, I need to turn the volume down when I'm watching Jason Bourne. You're watching what, sorry? When I'm watching Jason Bourne. I gotta turn the volume down when I'm watching Jason Bourne. Cause the gunfire me scares a, me. You give me a Jason Bourne impression? A Jason. Hey, we gotta, we gotta rob this bank for, cause the CIA brainwashed me and we gotta rob this bank. Uh, How's that? Right, Listen, a short we scenario, know, okay? Don't jump in a car, an officer's car, and you say don't you need uh, to listen to fucking my commands next time. Right? I'll drag your ass Sheesh. to jail, you hear me? Oh, I'll come drag on. you tie first. Oh, you're gonna drag me? Tie first! You're gonna drag me? Jesus, all right. I just thought maybe we were sharing a moment. You never know when you're gonna meet a friend in the workplace. Fuck the workplace. Whoa. Get out of here. Uh, all right. All right, I'll see, I'll see you later, Officer Sassy Pants. Sheesh. My goodness, some people have no respect. I tell you, I come from a different generation. We said, yes, sir. No, sir. Thank you. Sasterman, yeah, I'm going to remember that. <laughs> Chat, we did get just, we did just get decoloned by Casterman. My goodness, can you believe that? GG Chanel. It's not GG Chanel. It's not GG Chanel, chat, okay? 
<laughs> that good old GG hospitality where he invites himself into your personal bubble. <laughs> Listen, chat, okay? I've been watching a lot of Letterkenny lately, so there's going to be a bit of a there's going to be a bit of crossover energy between GG and Glenn, okay? I can only do so much. Um uh, Mandible Games, thanks for the 14 months. Love you back. Karika, thanks for the hundred biddies. How you doing, Karika? Hey, Karika says, love you, chat. Say it back. Well, you heard it, chat. Karika says, love you. Um, Glenn, Glenn Nolan. Maybe that's what it means. Glenn, Glenn Nolan. Oh my God, Lucky introduced me to that letter, Kenny, last night. What the fuck is that show? Wayward? You got to give it a couple seasons, dude. I'm not even kidding. Watch it for a couple seasons. You'll see. You can't just watch the first two or three episodes. You got to watch the first like two seasons and it'll grow on you. Dude, they're 20 minute episodes, Jay. Get off my butt crack, bro. Get off my butt crack, bro. Um, look at his as walk, Milton. That's such a kiki walk. It's such a GG walk. Come on. <laughs> You should know how many people are fucking stoked that you're thinking of firing the Rust server back up. Yeah, chat. So I was thinking about firing up our community Rust server again, chat. What do you think? Um, I was thinking we would fire up our community RP Lite Rust server. And, uh, and what I was thinking we could do. So I was thinking what we could do is um, I could film i could do some filming in the server and then turn it into like little movies or uh videos oh my gosh get the oh, are you gonna test me now or what we're at your office all right let's get in there i'm gonna take off my pants then you can test me okay <gasps> Don't wait up! See this fucking flashlight! See this? Oh, you see this? Oh, hey, you see oh, this flashlight? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna shove all six inches of it right down your fucking throat if you do not stay at my fucking car. You hear me? I heard you I crystal clear. I heard you crystal clear. Okay, go Damn ahead. Go car. ahead. Go ahead. I heard you. I heard you. You can't take it back. You promised you would. Fine. Jeez. Play hard to get. Why don't you? Gee whiz. I'm busy. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Wow. Some people just skip the foreplay, don't they? <laughs> Hemlo, thank you for the seven months. When Milty talks, I stop listening. Excuse, excuse me? I beg your fucking pardon? Big thanks. Thank you for the 22 months. Milton, we're so close to that two-year anniversary. Hell yeah, brother. Fuck yeah, big thanks. Anna Bananas, tier fucking three for four years. Well, well, well. Here we are with four years of my wallet spilling again. Thanks for everything you do for the community, but you're also still a frickhead. I beg your GD pardon, Anna Bananas. How goddamn dare you? Thank you for four years, my friend. Went from GG Nolan to Glenn Glenn Nolan to Glock 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 Nolan. That's how we do how we do kiki is 50 shades of gray gg is like 14 shades of gray <laughs> gg got a donk <laughs> fuck yeah boys wheel snipe selly boys fucking ripping mad fucking tricep pull downs boys fucking dumbbell overhead tricep extension boys crowster oh my lanta chat can i see some pogs and claps in chat for Krauster TKC. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Give your balls a ton, tit fucker. <laughs> um, hey, Krauster, seriously, thank you so much for the fucking 10 gifted subs, dude. No one's here. Shoot. Hello. Thanks, GG. Wondering if anyone's here to talk about. GG training with GG. All right. I'll be back later. I think I've thought of a name for it, chat. I know what we're going to be offering today. We're going to... We're going to... Uh... 
Sir? You feeling okay, sir? You look a little down on your luck on account of being face down in a burger shop parking lot. It's, can I call someone for you? I'm gonna just go ahead and 311 this. Hey, not to be an alarmist, but there appears to be a man in a blue shirt face down, well, face up in the parking lot at Burger Shot. Think he may be feeling unwell. Should I nudge him? There we go. That's nice. Nice of me to look out for. He's fine. What are you, what, what are you getting worried about, Oja Coco? Oja Coco. A anal armist? No, I'm not an anal armist. Jesus. Okay. Let's see. What we're gonna do, oh, is my phone broke? Oh my God, my, I don't even have a phone. What do I have a condom? <laughs> Why does Gigi have an expired murder meal, a condom, a capitalist church pamphlet, and a sherry toy? I fuck it's all I have in my inventory. <laughs> what the fuck? <clears throat> I just had a brilliant idea. Uh Gigi should become a fucking dispatcher. Well, that's what I was thinking exactly. I was I I, I honestly that's not a bad idea. That's the sort of thing that I want to do. Today I want to have Gigi go from um like uh i want to I, I want gg to i love the idea of gg fulfilling a role like being the hospital receptionist and that's it that's it no need to own a business no need to ever do anything else just give him a simple job that he can work something like that and um and have him just live his life like that so maybe that's what we'll do oh see we'll go see we'll go see if the if the police will allow us to work as a dispatcher and uh if they won't we'll go see if the hospital will, will let us work there as a receptionist and if they won't we'll just keep shopping around and see if we can land a job somewhere as a uh, as a receptionist i think he's a local it's hard to tell if he's sleeping or not uh my perineum does not have that good of sensitivity to heat. Mostly just touch. <laughs> okay. Receptionist at the strip club. Hey! Welcome to the Vanilla Unicorn! <laughs> I like that in the end. It's hard. <laughs> um... Just go in and start acting like the receptionist, whether or not you have a job. <gasps> no one special here now. That is not a fucking bad idea at all. Gigi working in a hospital. This really is Letter Kenny season 10. Shut up. I haven't seen that far. I'm only on season seven. Shut up. Don't, don't, no spoilers. <laughs> is Gigi the brother of Kiki? No, Gigi is not just man Kiki. Okay. Gigi is his own unique and completely separate identity. All right. Now, chat, I just want to remind you. So in case there's some people here who weren't here right at the beginning of stream, I'll have to point this out again in a little while. But um, as you can see, chat, I got a haircut and a beard trim. Well, I trimmed the beard myself, but I got a haircut. I didn't do that part myself. And uh, the, the gist of the haircut is that I'm going to keep it long on the top so that I can do something fun and interesting with it um, in a while. So anyways, so for now, for now, my haircut looks like this. And 20 minutes before I start my fucking stream today, Chad, 20 minutes before I start my fucking stream, someone tags me on Twitter in this. What the fuck? It was awesome seeing you on the Price is Right show today, Milton. That's not me. That's not what my... <sighs> so you know what, chat? I think in light of that, um, I've decided that rather than having the face cam on today, I think we'll go with something more appropriate, okay? 
How's this sound? This work for everybody? All right. Just gonna put that right there. It's a good one for us. Hey! <laughs> hey, kids! <laughs> Come on in! <laughs> Chat. Should we should we fucking make a McMilton character? Should we fucking make a McMilton character? <laughs> <laughs> should we should we make a McMilton character at some point? Hey! It's me! Milton McMilton! <laughs> Rilton McMilton! <laughs> Carry a red balloon. Ha ha ha! I just like to have friends! <laughs> For the serial killer spooped over? Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when we want to play a spoopy character, we'll play uh, we'll play an hour here, an hour there of <laughs> Rotten McMilton. <laughs> hey, it's me, Rotten McMilton. <laughs> that would be my self insert. Okay, if I'm playing a clown named Milton, I'm not doing a fucking self insert. Fuck's sake! <laughs> no, it's not. No, it is not true. It is not true neural johnson says too late for that anal armist what does that even mean neural johnson um big thanks thank you for the 22 months my friend we're so close to that two-year anniversary hell yeah brother hell yeah squiddy pro quo thanks for the 26 month hey bitch good to see you squiddy Sinity, thanks for the 27 freaking months, Sinity. Great to see you. Orlando, thanks for the 11 months, friendo. Hello. D Rock. D, -D, 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 D Rock. Thank you for the four years, D Rock. Four GD years. Delinquent Red Panda, thanks for the four months. Milton, I'm loving my new place. It's a five minute walk to a great bar. The only downside is the walk back is 45 minutes. The difference is staggering. Um, Jake Itchy, thanks for the 51 months, my friend. Appreciate you uh, coming back for so long. Delinquent Red Panda, thanks for gifting those two subs to Crazy Ray Ray and uh, Cat Dog. Boneless, thanks for the 19 months. Octo the Noob King, year and a half. Kate Cat Break, thanks for the 10 months. Hello. Jay Brower, two months. Viscardi Vendetta, 12 months. It's been a year. What's up with this new hair in my private area? What the f fuck what the fuck um your bloodhound thanks for gifting that sub to barons um for two months melanistic thanks for the 19 months buff engineer thank you for the half a year joker 59 50 42 freaking months chat listen i know you might get this a lot but you are beautiful. I can sing my ABCs to you, so I'll give you an A because you're awesome, a B because you're beautiful, and a C because you're a cock face fucking group of idiots. Sincerely, Joker5950. Joker oh my God. Oh my God. Joker. Oh my, oh my God. Oh, oh my God, Joker. That is so, oh my God. Oh. I can't believe oh my god oh, wow just let it be known i don't i don't agree with joker i don't agree with joker okay i don't i those those remarks do not resemble the thoughts and opinions of everybody here at so the democratic people's republic of milton t pike one okay um blue awning thank you for the 31 months blue awning how are you hello blue awning good to see you miss zombrex thanks for the 27 freaking months uh zader thank you for the five months yes milty poo i'm starting some wild west roleplay soon fuck yeah zader let's go goblin mayo factory 22 months goblin mayo factory god i hate your name closer to the edge thanks for the 32 months shut up wave thanks for the tier one subscription welcome to the channel my amigo uh freaky gamer girl three months first trimester down let's go really glad that i found you via a kip boga raid well welcome to the insanity shut up wave thanks for the 200 bits had a bunch of fun fighting uh the mayor of gas town the other day that was a lot of fun 
Um, did you hear that Darkseid is going to do a Red Dead RP server? When are they doing that? That when are they doing? When is that happening? When's that happening? Chat, explain. I'm going to take a fucking rip off that. Celebrate that. No one's special here now. <laughs> when, uh, when are they launching that? Um straws thanks for the 31 months after atlas but you'd have to ask ven okay raj straws thanks for the 31 months of support from one practically a doctor to another this is the best stream on twitch hey thanks for the 31 months straws you toxic fuck rice muffin thank you for the 15 months my friend what should we name the twitch baby personally i'm voting for numby plump numby pumby jesus where, where the fuck did you come up with that name rickle pickle thanks for the 16 months rickle pick Wonder Boy, thanks for the 500 bits. How do you tell the sex of an ant? Just throw it in some water. If it sinks, it's a girl ant. If it floats, then it's male. Trevor C, thank you for the 33 months of support. Appreciate that. Um, Gamer Connected, thanks for the 21 months of support. How you doing, Gamer Connected? Captain Birdie, thanks for the 15 months. Pog right back at you. Obi Pwned, thanks for the 26. How are you, Obi Pwned? I feel like you didn't read that right. No. He just said, if it floats, and then a bunch of dots afterwards. So I was filling in the slot, okay? Who is this character? This is, this is, um, th this is Coriander Presbyterian. He's, uh, he's the server's, uh, number one dial-up, uh, dubstep producer so he makes dubstep exclusively using the sounds of dial-up modems <laughs> no his name is gg nolan his name is gg and he has a very uh very bland life very uninteresting life he's just doing his best okay nelbull thanks for the eight months of support nelbull Burger Burger, 34 months. You're my favorite. Bucho, thank you for the 42 freaking months. That's insane. PC Tech, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you, my friend. Thank you for the 500 bits. Okay. That sounds dope, to be honest. So just dubstep then. What? Hello? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put... Go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and put something in. Uh, human urine. <laughs> Is that the smell of human urine? I know the smell of pee, and that's definitely human pee in there. That's weird. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, we... You know, I think that being dispatched might be a bit too much work for us. Well, I don't really know, actually. Can I be a 911 operator? What does it take to be a 911 operator? Let's find out, chat. Let's find out together. Okay. Speaking of people in emergencies, my name is GG Nolan, and I was wondering if I could, wondering how or if I could apply to be a 911 operator. Like for the phone, I could do a real good job. Mama always said I was a real people person like I was held by my ankles and dipped in a bowl of sugar. <laughs> GG helps the needy. <laughs> okay. Volunteer EMS, just saying, easier and fun. I mean, we're going to go over to the hospital now anyways and, and see if we can check in there. A bowl of people would have been a nice facade. <laughs> <laughs> my mom always said I was a people person like when I was born I was picked up by my ankles and dipped in a bowl of people <laughs> hey we got a response chat meet at Mission Row PD hey fucking sick <laughs> oh my god we might even get a job sheesh this is what happens you gotta manifest it chat you gotta manifest it obi wan Brony, thanks for the 11 months. I hope you're feeling better overall, my friend. I am. I am feeling better overall. Chat, things are going well. Things are going well behind the scenes. 
subconsciously i i am i'm realizing now i'm i'm going through sort of it's like i'm blowing off the cobwebs of the filing cabinets in my mind and sort of addressing the things that i hadn't addressed for a long time that needed addressing and uh and sorting out my you know the, the, the different things that i want to get done and what what is important to me as a person and all the rest and anyways i just feel much 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 better chat much 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 better much much better i fucking love you chat it's a great day how is that oh. a little poochy poochy poo poochy goo goo oh yeah that is a little here come outside with me oh, come outside. what a boy isn't he a boy he is just a boy he's just he is a, such boy. a boy he is, he is such, such a boy, boy. Well, howdy doody. What's first of all, what's your name? Uh, Senior Deputy Dan Failing. Nice to meet you. What's your Senior yeah, Deputy I, Dan Failing? Well, it's nice to meet you, Senior Deputy Dan Failing. Look at you all with your uniform and your very stylish haircut. Why? Oh, you know, yeah, that is yeah. a very sharp haircut, and I think anyone that has a haircut like that also looks sharp. Oh. Yep. Well, thank you. I like Just it too. Not saying that for any particular reason, but. If anyone had, say, an Uncle Milton who got a haircut like that, boy, would he look sharp. Oh, I tell Wait, you what. Did... Oh, your Uncle Milton got exactly the haircut? I'm not haircut? saying that. I'm just saying that if someone did have an Uncle Milton who got that exact haircut, that it would look sharp is all it I'm would, saying. I mean, I'm sure it, look, it looks extremely dapper. In Never, his army days. Still say that? In his army. Yeah, oh, dapper is a good word. Days. In his army days, he would he would call that haircut high speed, low drag. I get it. I get it because it's it's like back and yeah, it's high speed. Yeah, make it make some more air. All right. So, anyways, I was wondering if y'all needed a nine one one operator on account of the fact that I'm a real people person. See, my mama always told me that it was like when I was born, I was dipped by my ankles into a bowl of people. That's how much of a people person I am. Well, uh, have you had any experience with uh, dispatching? Uh, well, to be totally honest, um, I watched Good Morning Vietnam twice, once in English, once in Spanish. Now, I don't speak Spanish, but I didn't have a choice that was on in the lounge in the waiting area at the hospital when I was getting my hemorrhoids attended to. Oh, yeah, you gotta get your hemorrhoids. Got my, yeah, just right, get yeah. my hemorrhoids. So, anyway, all I mean to say is, I mean, not any official business, but I'm a quick learner. I'm a very okay. quick learner. Um, here, let me hear you say. Uh, let's see. Okay. There, a 1071 call comes in, which is fi uh, shots fired. Okay. Off of uh, Cali Avenue. Okay. So, I want you to be like, I want you basically to say, uh, PD from dispatch, 1071 off of Cali Avenue. Uh, respond code three. PD, this is dispatch. Respond to a 1071 off Cali Avenue. Proceed with caution. You are free okay. to go code three. Okay. Weapons, weapons free. With a, one armor piercing magazine, load your weapon. Okay. I don't think the last part was very, I don't think that was. What about that? You know, a little bit good. of improv. If really you have good. a samurai sword or a stick of TNT, bring it with you and ignite. What I'm with that. That's extremely good. Okay. If you know Kung okay. Fu or if you have been taking mixed martial arts classes, perhaps the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, prepare to perform a that's mortal a lot, combat. That's a lot to say over the radio. Is there a brief abbreviation you for that? Wanna... If you're an 1183, that could stand for like brown belt and half keto. If you're an 1183, pr pr proceed half to the keto? 1071. Half, not half keto. Half keto. Like a kid that's got a half. He's oh. happening. Half keto. I'm a brown belt. Okay. Keto. We're going to need an 1183 to that 1071. We so got it's on a brown belt Kamen. who's on keto because so, he's trying to watch his weight type okay, of Okay, listen. I feel like you're getting distracted here. I'm just real good at talking to people who are in emergency situations. Is all. Okay, okay, okay. Scenario. Okay, go ahead. Scenario. Yeah. I, I'm coming in. You you oh, have to take, right. as a dispatcher, you are taking reports as well, civilian reports. Okay, sure. I want to be the person reporting yep. to you. Okay. And I want you to get down as much information I tell you and then repeat it back to me. You got a notepad? Okay. Of course I got <laughs> one. Okay, go ahead. Here, let me... Uh... <clears throat> okay, here we go. 
Nancy. Oh my god, I, I just got taken from the, uh, the Alta apartments and then I was uh, and then I was taken to the bank and then they held a gun at me and then they took my gun and then they said they were gonna kill me multiple times and there was three of them and they were wearing all black and they were driving a red and color comet and they pointed a gun at me and they said if I said anything they were gonna shoot me in the face and the cops came and they, they didn't do anything. Okay, so I just want to make sure I got this straight. You said, uh, oh my God, I just got taken to the Alta apartments and then to the bank and then they held a gun and then they took my gun and there were three of them and they were all wearing black and they were driving a gray and colored comet and then the cops showed up and they didn't do anything. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was pretty much, that was pretty good. All right. Well, what did I, I told you? I'm a professional. You are a professional? Okay. Now, let me ask you this. Yeah, go ahead. Mr. What was your name again? It's GG, GG Nolan. GG Nolan. Does the GG stand for anything? You know, my mama never said anything, so I just well, I just said I think it stands for good guy. <laughs> good guy Nolan. Good guy Nolan. I like it. I like it you a know? lot. All right, let me call. Okay, well, let me ask you this: If you were to get hired yeah, as a sure. dispatcher, uh -huh. how uh, how serious would you take it? I would take so it something that you would do once a week, twice a week, every day. I would take it seriously enough that I could guarantee you I would be willing to perform my duties for at least one hour a month for sure easy maybe even two you know what hmm. you push your luck could even be a third one in there three hours uh-huh what do you think what what if we did an hour or two every two weeks hour or two every two you know what i could, I could try to make that happen for you mr let me mr. What, what is your goal yeah yeah mr well, what, my, what, what my goal are you wanting to become a police officer well, not necessarily. Okay, I tend to get faint when I watch Jason Bourne on high volume. I'm just trying to find a way so, so as I can help people, help use my talents for good. I mean, unless you think I got what it takes to be a policeman officer. Well, Mr. Maybe Nolan, we should do you a know, ride along sometime. You know, I gotta ask you. Dispatcher is not very glorious. There's a lot of standing around talking to nobody, just listening to the radio. Well, hey, that's that ain't such a big deal. Well, I mean, that's, this is, well, that's not such a big deal, all in all. I mean, okay. shoot. It's, I mean, this, I'm going to be taking 911 calls, right? Uh, people sometimes call 911, but most of the time it's over, over text. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's, well, shoot. Then I'm just going to respond and say, we're sorry. The 911 text messaging system is down. Please call 911. Or you just call them yourself. Like when the <gasps> 91 comes in, you just call them and be like, hey, tell me about your problem. How do I, will I get their phone number? Yes, you get their phone number. Really? Yep. Oh, well, shoot, look at that. Oh, well, well, goodness gracious. Okay, well, let me, shoot. Uh, let me call Espinoz here. He's the one who does hiring. You ever heard of Espinoz? Espinoz, well, <laughs> I can't say that I Espinoz them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got some funny jokes there, Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's not answering the phone currently. Okay, well. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if the sheriff's around. I'm sure we you know can get someone down here. I'll prove my sheriff candidacy Kyle to them. Pred. Sheriff Kyle Pred. Well, what's he like as a person? Um, he's rough around the edges. Well, hey, aren't we all just a little rough around the edges? You know what they need? A little bit just of caramelized bit. brown sugar. Just, just sprinkle a it on little top bit rough, them, you know? Just eat it off their naked body. They're, wait, what? I said, I can't wait to meet him. Sounds like a nice guy. See, he is a nice guy. He is most sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> most of the time, he's nice. Well, that, see, that sounds promising to me. Yep. Okay, listen, they're not answering. Oh, okay. How about I give oh. you a tour of the uh, the station here, all right? Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, give me a little tour of the station. Let's see what's up. All right, come on. Dude, go to the kennel, puppy dog. All right. He's a smart dog. He He's such he a boy. He is such way. a boy. He is such a boy. He knows how to find his way all the way back to the crate. Yeah. Well, shoot. Oh, this is pretty nice. Would I get my yeah. own office if I was a if I was a nine one one Oh, operator? wait till I show you the wait till I show you the dispatch office. You're gonna oh, you're well, gonna do shoot. what the kids say, shit bricks. <gasps> you're gonna who's shit a brick. Hey, who's, the sh who's that? Who's that man? Oh, oh, that guy right there. Who's that? Yeah, I don't know who that is. What do you mean you don't know who that is? I Can think, you guys please he's... whisper because we're doing paperwork, please? I think he's a new hire. Oh. Okay, you have to whisper back here. 
Not really. I think they're just, they want us to whisper. Well, okay. Do you think you can give me one of their phone numbers? Then maybe we should leave. Uh, why do you want one of their phone numbers? Listen, okay, let's just get out of here. But before yeah, we do, I've, I've, heard, I've heard that a way to make people feel more romantic towards you is if you're always accompanied by ambient sounds like beach noises. So as we walk by, I'm just going to make some beach noises, okay? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys are so loud. <clears throat> Doing FTL reports over here. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Go, go! Good. That's good. That's okay. really good. That's really good. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Yeah. I think she's into me. <laughs> She seemed kind of nice. Yeah, what did she say when I walked by or something? She said, she said, she said, boy, I sure do lie. I can't, I sure can't tell that Dan Faley's been working out. Oh, yeah, true. true. Yep. She said that. All right. So, Mr. Nolan, what I'm about to show you is top secret. Right? <gasps> oh, you're going to have to this kill me? I'm not going to tell anyone. No, I'm not going to have to You're going to have to kidnap me and duct tape me up in your trunk. <gasps> Take me to somewhere secluded. Oh, my. I was thinking, like, oh, throw you oh, in a crate, oh, drill holes in it, and then throw you in the ocean. Oh, my God. This is dangerous. I'm into it. Okay. 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 So this this best room. Okay. Come on in. <laughs> drill holes. We can practice drilling. What? You now, can see the whole GD city. Now, you don't have to sit in here, and most of the dispatchers don't because look, there's no fucking windows. There's very little interaction. It's kind of boring. But when you are in here, you have access to this panel over here. Ooh. And when you sit in this panel. You get to, uh, you can watch if, if cops put, we have wireless cameras in our car and you can okay. watch our, our cameras. No way. Yeah. Shut your mouth. Yeah. You can hear audio and watch our cameras. And Here, let me see. And then, I'm just going to sit down and give it a spin. <laughs> uh, there's no, there's no cops that have oh. cameras. Well, really. shoot. Okay. <laughs> You're always encouraged. You want to encourage them. So you have something to watch basically. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Well, shoot. That there's sounds a, exciting. Okay. You also have access to the flight radar. The flight radar. What's that on the, the flight, flight radar. radar? Basically, we'll come over the radio and be like, hey, I just saw an unidentified aircraft in this. God damn it. Why am I saying that? Mm. We just saw an unidentified aircraft in the air. <gasps> like and we need you to track it. <gasps> yes. Are you putting me? <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> are you are you dying? Please please don't die right here. That's a lot of paperwork I have to do if you die right here. Is that like the UFO team? Yeah, so basically, listen. Any listen. You want to track UFOs? I want to track UFOs. Yeah, you can track. Listen. We have a lot of UFOs in the city, okay? Well, that's per a lot. I could be your man. I've seen, I've seen, okay, I haven't seen every episode of X-Files, but I've seen a couple. So basically, yeah, you, uh, you sit at this panel and you can have, you just pull up your map and you see all the aircraft that are in the air. And wow. if you hover over it, your mouse, you know, on the panel there, right. it'll give you information about the flight. It'll wow. give you like, if, if they've input flight information, like their location, who's flying, things like that. It'll be on there. If they don't, that's when you say, scramble the hydras. <sighs> what, is, what does that mean to scramble the hydras? Is that, do so I we, need to bring a basilisk out of somewhere? Like in, in, like in the HP books. So we, 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 as a police department, have access to two jets. What? Hydras. V oh my lord. Wow. You okay. know what VTOL stands for? Very triangular orgasmic and large how the fuck did you know that listen i'm privy to some novel i spend at least 40 minutes on wikipedia every night at least i'm a very well-rounded man uh, very very what, what, what the... <laughs> very what very what is it what what is it dan tell me dan dan tell me dan what is it dan Okay, listen, Dad. I tried to come up with something funny, but I couldn't. It's, it stands for vertical takeoff and landing, okay? It means the oh. aircraft can take off and land like a helichopper. What if it actually, what if that's what they told you it stood for? But it actually stands for vaginal transfer, vaginal transference of objects and lithographs. Huh? 
What if that's what it means? And it's what some sort it, of like secret CIA program no one's told you about. I mean, you're sitting up here tracking UFOs. It could be you something FIB related. This is the sort of thing we need to get to the bottom of, Dan, you and me. I'll, I'll take you up to go see the Jets here in a second. Maybe <gasps> Maybe I can fly one one day. Okay, I'm going to hold you to that. No, I didn't you say promised, that. You promised me. I did not me. say that. I All right, I accept it because we're friends. I'm going to take you at your word. I you promised I'm going to be able to fly a vaginal transference of objects in lithographs. I did not say that. <laughs> Trying to call us a noodle. Okay. Give me a little ring a lang. A little jang a lang. Yeah. Male Kiki. It's not male Kiki. So you're saying two t two hours a month? Yeah, or did we yeah, negotiate yeah. down that two hours every two weeks? Well, I think we can do an hour or two every couple weeks for sure. Okay. 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 Well, he's for not answering. Hmm. Well, I mean, if you just give me something like, I don't know, why don't we just settle on a, on a wage for the day of like 15 grand? I could just sit down and... Do 15 grand? Well, listen, I got bills to pay. I got an apartment to afford. And I got some little chihuahuas I want to buy. <laughs> Do you think this position could eventually lead me to be a commercial pilot? Um... I can fly I mean, around you, the city and give Are you interested in flying? Because I can teach you how to fly. You can teach me how to fly. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm an. I, I work for Airx. We teach people how to fly. You can teach me the world, shine and shimmer and splendid. Tell me, Gigi, now when did you last let your heart decide? Dan can show you the world. Teach you how to fly VTOL. He promised you that he'd let you fly one all by yourself. No, that's no, what I you didn't. said. You said no, that to me. Okay. I did not say sure. that. Sure. Well, anyways, this is not. an interesting little seat. Does it adjust? Can I? Uh, uh, am I able to adjust go. this like back and forth? Yeah. Up and down I mean, no. It's it's, oh. it's it's screwed into the. It's screwed oh. into the, it's Why is it screwed there. into place here? It's kind of uncomfortable to get in and out of. Yeah, it's that's the government things, you know. They just, you know. Well, I'm, listen. If you've ever had a government <laughs> job or you were like in the military, you know how they do weird things and stuff, you know. Well, I've never been in the military. My uncle Milton, who got your haircut and it looks very sharp, has been in the military. Yeah, you know. That's what I'm saying. Maybe you well, know somebody who has, and they've told you how. He might Things know are. a thing or two. He was a he was a machine gunner and a weapons detachment commander. Very oh. impressive. He's a veteran and a philanthropist, oh. genius, mastermind. You know, artist, some people call UFC him. fighter. What do you? Some people what? You know, some people call uh call this a machine gun. They call that a they call that a machine gun. They call this a machine gun. Oh, for goodness sake, me, Gigi, obviously knows that's a shotgun, idiot. Yeah. Get Wait, it together. What? I know my weapons. When do I get to fire my nuclear torpedo? We don't have those. Do yet. I get one? No. Can I have a taser? Maybe. <gasps> oh, that's exciting. I've that is never, pretty exciting. I've never been in a fight before with anybody. I'm a little bit of a buzz buzz. That's okay. That's okay. Listen, yeah. we've hired. Hold on. Let me see if he's on duty real quick. Okay. His name is uh, Kachow. First Kachow. name K A, last name C H O A, or C H A O. Kachow. Okay. And he started out as a, you know, a little. Uh, on the skittish side. Okay. And now today he's just a little less skittish. Oh, well that sounds promising. Yeah, it's only taken him three, four months to sort of not be skittish, but still kind of cry all the time. Oh, well, you know, who doesn't need a good cry for once in a while? When's the last time I mean, you cried, Mr. Dan? Uh, on my wedding day. On your wedding day? Yeah, I cried on my wedding day. I know that's that's very not manly, but uh, she just looks so beautiful, you know. Just who did you marry? What's her name? I didn't know I was speaking to a married man. That's kind of hot. What do you uh? 
What's what's your wife's name? Her name is Patricia Mayonnaise. Patricia Mayonnaise. What a disgusting name. Yeah, Patty name. Mayonnaise. Oh. Wait, what? Uh, I said, what a what a wonderful day she that must have been. She was actually a dispatcher too, but now she's a cop. Oh well, look at that. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I have her card and I carry it on me, except oh. when we're getting hunted. So it's sort of like you two started as co-workers and then became co-lovers. Well, she was an EMS before. Wonder if that'll be our story. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Okay, so what? Uh, who do you need to talk to to get me a job here? Just that acute. So I um I sent an email over to Espinoz. Who, okay. He he's gonna send me um the application link. Okay, sure. So once I get that, I can just email it to you, forward it to you, and then you fill it out. I wanted him to be here and kind of maybe get you in today, but uh, I don't think that's gonna oh. happen. Well, that, that's okay. I actually had an interview at the hospital. Maybe they'll treat me with a little bit more reverence. What? Well, that's okay. fine. I understand. You're gonna, sh I you're showed you. Turn me down like this. That's I understand. Entire, I mean, hold Here, on. We have, my jets. Heart. we have jets. You even promised that you would let me fly a VTOL solo. I did not say and, you would And then you're going to dangle that in front of me after promising me that you would give one to me on my one-year anniversary of working here that I'd have my very own VTOL. I don't even have a VTOL. Back. Well, then you should have promised one that you couldn't give it. I didn't Dad, promise. I thought we were going to be friends. We're going to have to work on this whole honesty thing. Okay, follow me. Follow okay. Me. We're uh, not done with the tour yet. Yeah, who? <laughs> Gigi is Kiki undercover. No. <laughs> no. He did promise that. Here's he the did. meeting room. This is where we have meeting. Okay. Now look at this. Little. Uh-oh. People been leaving their coffee out. That's unhygienic. Shame. Yeah, we come up here and then we were like, hey, this is a meeting and we're doing meeting things. Can I try? Yeah, go for it. Hi, my name is Gigi. I haven't spoken to my father in 13 years. <laughs> no, no, you, Gigi, is you that, don't have to do that. Is that like what you're supposed to do? No, you just walk I, up to the podium. I was a child. Gigi, you're my not. Home Gigi. 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 Yes. Hey, hey. Yeah, what's up? You don't have to change your voice. You just walk up to the podium and it does it for No, me. you you just do it for you. There you go. Hello. Now I can hear you. Hello. Yeah. Okay, see, you don't hear it, but I hear you. No, I hear you. No, can you I hear, hear me? You. I hear you. No, okay, let me try. Yeah, can you hear me now? No. Why? No, I can't hear you. Are you talking? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking. I don't hear you. Well, how are you responding to me if you can't I'm hear not, me? I'm not responding to you. I'm responding to my it, own thoughts. No, you're responding to me. No, that's just your perception. Do you like peanut butter? I love peanut butter. Yeah, okay. No, I just not. I was thinking about something. I was going to say peanut butter cups because I wasn't thinking about peanut butter. God damn it. GG Nolan. Okay, listen. I just think we got something here, Dan. We could be a powerful team. Me on dispatch, it, you as the didn't hero. You say, didn't you say that you were... Scare. Well, oh, oh, okay. And dispatch. Yeah, okay. Oh, you want me to go on a ride along with you? Okay, Dan, let's go. Hop in. No, I let's can't go. right now because there's there's. What do you mean you can't right waiting. now? There's, there's cadets waiting. I'm a cadet too. I'm your little cadet, Dan. Oh, we sweet. can't take anybody Jesus. if there's cadets, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm running kind of fast up these stairs, Dan. Jesus. <laughs> well, I'm even injured. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 now oh, I'm injured oh. too. I could have, I could have split a lip. Okay. I tripped on the top stair, Daniel. Are you Dangerous. okay? Well, I think so. Jeez. All right. Come out here. All right. I told you I'd show you our arsenal of weaponry of arrow craft. You certainly Maddox. did. You promised. You said now, I swear. I will warn you, Mr. Nolan. Yes. If you attempt to get in any of these aircraft, I will have to use lethal force on you. I understand. And I do not want you to dump a hot load into me on top of this I, building. I would. Okay. Listen, yes. listen to me, uh -huh. Mr. Nolan. If you attempt to get in this aircraft. Yes. I will I will dump a load. Do into not you. dump a hot load into me. All right. It will I'm be on... the hottest load that you have don't, ever received. I don't want that, so I'm gonna stand off to the side so you're okay. not tempted to dump a hot load into me. I, I won't I don't want to. I don't want I, you I to don't do that. Want to. I don't want you to do that on top of this ceiling right now specifically. I'm not gonna dump a hot load unless you touch the aircraft. In specifically, I don't want you to dump a hot load into me on top of this roof. Don't make me bust this out. I don't want you to have to bust out that and dump a hot load into me so i'm just gonna stand back okay okay as long as all we're right. on the same page we're on the same page <laughs> all right so first off is our uh helicopters we have uh the as350s 
Oh, wow. Holy mackerel. Look at that. It's got yep. windows and a big old. Got windows. It's got the big old swinging wings on the top or whatever yep. they're called. Big swinging wings. Uh-huh. Three wings. The tri wings. Spin. The, tr the, the spin and fan wings. Yep. We call them the, the tri wings. The, fan, I, that's the very tri good. wings. I knew it. Okay. You got the tri yep. wings. Tri you wing fan. Uh -huh. Lights on it. It's even got the steppy thing and yep. doors. Oh, my goodness. It's like a real old helicopter, isn't it? It's not even a fake that, one. This is a real one. It's a real one. Oh my it's a real goodness. boy. I can't wait to All see right. the VTOL you're going to let me fly. You're not going to fly. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Uh, Kadibo, thanks for the 26 oh, months. Ventilli, the, thanks for the 8 months. Right now. Miller time, thanks for the 22 months. Oh, what do you think? They're chasing a UFO? <gasps> That's not the Good. preferred name, nomenclature, by the way. Preferred nomenclature is the unidentified aerial phenomenon on account of the fact that the government is trying to distance themselves from problematic names because they're trying to make it seem like they aren't actually culpable for 75 years of disinformation. I like UFOs better. Yeah, I like UFOs too. It's got more of a ring to it, you know. A lot of yeah, people just like know that more. Do, 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 God. Wait, you don't, you don't like UFOs? Well, oh, hold on now. You can still hear what? me, right? Yes, I still hear you. Okay, good. I'm just making sure. Whew. Listen, I just had a, I just had a bit of a headache. I okay. Just had, I just had a bit of a headache, but we're fine. Okay. Okay. okay are uh, you good? Yeah, I'm good. You're good. I'm good. Okay, I'm good. You're sure you're okay though. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, oh, God, this is so uncomfortable. I just wish I could fucking collapse in on myself like a neutron star right now. You know, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that little thing that did little... Did I just... Mr. Nolan, did you just... What? <laughs> did you just say what? you wanted to fucking collapse like a neutron star? I said I wanted to collapse in on myself like a neutron I heard, star. I heard you swear, Mr. Nolan. Oh, shoot. I didn't swear. That was a sign. You said no, fucking, I heard it. That was a vent. There was a cursing. There was I a, heard you there, say no. you want to fucking no, collapse. No, I did not say that. There I was heard a, it with my there ears, were, listen, Mr. Nolan. There's, a, there's something you need to know. There's a Rocky Mountain swearing spider in the vents over there. I saw one earlier. Oh, they, my God. They come down from the Rocky Mountains the during Rocky the winter Mountains. months. The Rocky We're Mountain. not even close to the Rocky it's Mountains. The Rocky We're Mountain an island in the middle of the Pacific. <laughs> Listen, they're known to board planes and, and accompany themselves in baggage. All right, I couldn't. Oh wait, so wait, do they just they just scream? Ah! Listen, you've seen ah! too much. You've seen no! too much. I don't want to have to do this to you. No, don't do it. You can't tell anyone. No, Where are you? No, can't tell. Please. I don't want to have to do. There can't be a witness to the fact that I swore. You got to be You you, oh no! I'll never be a dispatcher. I can't do it. I absolutely can't. Oh. But he heard me swear. He heard me drop oh, an bomb. No, I gotta do it. Oh, I, no. oh no! Okay, hold on. Oh, Please, listen. I'm a wife. If I switch, if I set you down, you have to promise that you will never tell anybody you heard me say the F dash dash dash. I, I promise. I promise. <laughs> I'll never say it. Tell anybody you said fuck. <gasps> I'll say it again. Sheesh. All right. Well, you've sold me. Say sheesh. I said, oh yeah, sheesh is acceptable. <laughs> okay. No. Nope, no. Nope, you have to go over. You have to go over. I don't want to go over the side. You'll never have a dispatcher if you throw me oh, over. Oh God. You're You'll right. You'll never you're have right, a dispatcher. Right, right. Sorry. Sorry. <sighs> okay. Don't ever well, say sheesh again. Though, I apologize. Though. I'll try to remove it from my vocabulary. Sheesh. Like those people are like sandwich. Sheesh, you know. No, I never understood that. What was up with that? I don't understand that either. I, I must be swatters. getting old. That's what I you think know, too. When I was younger, I was like, I will never be old enough where I don't know the, with the lingo and stuff. But now I'm like, what the fuck is sheesh and all this but other shit? Because you're saying, yeah, people are saying shit like Ferda and. Did you just say shit? No, I said ship. Uh, I'm naming ships in the harbor. Yeah, like Serendipity, Ferda, things like Ferda, that. I don't understand Ferda. it. For the boys, Will Snipe that's Sally. Right. That's not like Will Snipe Sally, exactly. They're saying things like yeah. that. They're just ripping mad tricep pull downs, just ripping yep. thick backward just, flies. 
Just hitting up some Gus and Brew. Yeah, I just fucking, some Gus. That's exactly right. And I just look at him and I say, get this guy a puppers. Get this guy a fucking get, puppers. Get that's this, exactly well, what I, I don't say. say that. I say get this guy friggin' puppers. But <laughs> that's yeah. just me. You know me. Fucking puppers. <laughs> Well, hey, listen, I'm sold. I want to be a dispatcher. So I say you get in touch with your boss, then you get in touch with me. I'd give you my phone number, but in fact, I don't have one. I woke up today and I have a pamphlet for the Church of Capitalism, a condom, an expired murder meal, and a sherry toy in my pockets. No, oh. phone, no phone, though. Ugh. So anyway, all I mean to say is I'd give you my phone number, but I actually can't. So why don't you just be a real chum, drive me over to the phone store, and I'll get a new tel cellular phone. Yeah, yeah let's go. I'll uh, get you a phone. Come on. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> hey, do you think that red-headed girl's into me down there? Uh, maybe. She seemed kind of like it the way that she was saying, shut your mouth. We're trying to do paperwork. You're being so loud. Okay, to be fair, we were kind of being loud. Well, you know, to be fair to us, I need to be I need to be given a tour so I can execute my duties responsibly. That is true. That's true. And I've only shown you half of this place. I haven't even shown <gasps> you gun range. You have a gun range here? No. We have a way. gun range. Yeah. No way, Jose. I say I say baloney sandwich. There's no way you got a gun see range. Want to right now, or you want to wait? You're a liar. You're a liar. Liar. Pants on fire, Mr. Failey. I can see from here. Your pants are in fuego. They're not on fire. Your they pants are, not on... are in fuego. Oh, I'll show you later. I'll Spanish show you later. In fire. Oh, you're gonna show me how your pants are on fire later? Okay, deal. Oh, see. If you skip this line, oh, I will up. be awfully displeased. I've been waiting okay, here okay, for 30 okay, okay, okay. minutes. We go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Yeah, we don't. We don't want watch. to talk. Here, me. let me. Let me. I'll watch. I'll show you my magic. I'll show you my dispatch magic. Just let me into the oh, office. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Come on. Over here. <laughs> right through this door. Okay. Oh. Hello there, sir. How are you? Happy to, happy to serve you first, sir. Welcome oh to Mission. Welcome to. Excuse me, sir. You're gonna have to wait your turn in queue, sir. In the vest. Another sir is about to die. Sir, in the vest. You just spat on me. Cleo uh, Shaw is about to die. Oh, what? Oh, so, so he's, he's we're trying to what skip the queue. He's just spat on my face. Excuse. All right. He's now, hey, To be fair, she's always uh, about to die. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. but oh, and spat also in my face, and now you're pushing me out the way. All right. Oh, hey, sir, excuse Whoa. me, sir. So we hey, know I would Calm like down. to report an assault there, wait, okay. right now. Right. I'm going to I'm gonna punch uh, him no, if he's not. I'm, I'm writing this down. No, okay, sir, you like, I'm, I'm writing it down. I'm writing down your report, sir. Okay, you'd like to make a report of an assault? What was the, can you describe the assault No, to me, no, sir? It's, a, it's a kidnapping sir, attempt of murder. Jacket, and... I'm writing it down, sir, in the white jacket. I'm writing down your report right now. Can you describe yeah. the assault that took place, please? He, he spat on me and Who's now he's just don't even care about I'm gonna your need, own officer. Really? I'm gonna need names. Really? I'm gonna need names. This, it's I don't know, Cleo Mr. Shaw, Ballsack. Oliver Templeton, Mr. and Bryce okay. Miller. Mr. Ballsack. Okay, when did this assault happen? Name. Just now. Okay, Five we're ago. just now. Okay, can you give me a date and a yeah. time there? I just gotta put it, it down. Like the twenty fifth. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, uh oh. Okay. The twenty fifth right. of okay. the first. Twenty fifth uh, of the first month. All right. Okay. Uh, at, uh, at yeah. 1943. 1943. Where you okay. I got that to you. Sure. It's not okay. 1943. It's 2022. It's, 2000, it's 2022, sir. It's All right. You are 80 four. years off. It's 20 oh, past God, four. Okay. Brother. 20 past four. You, four. You okay. So 420. Hard. All right. And this, this took place. Yeah. Uh, can you give me the location of this place? Yeah, the reception About of MRPD. Right. Minute, okay, res, okay. Reception of MRPD. Okay. Did you have any witnesses yeah. to this assault? Yes. Okay, would you be able to provide me their names? Hey, sir, what's your name? Uh, G.G. Nolan. Uh, G.G. Nolan. Okay, G.G. Nolan. Officer Sheriff. And Officer Sheriff, okay. So Officer, officer. Sheriff and G.G. Nolan were here, and they saw this assault take place at 420 what's on the 25th what, of the first month what, at the reception what's your name of MRPD. In the blue okay. <laughs> me? Yeah, what's your name? No, I'll wait. Are you sure? Okay, so you were this. you were assaulted by a man named Noah Alwait, and this was witnessed by G.G. Nolan and Officer Sheriff at, at on the twenty yes. at twenty five past four on the first of yes. the month. Got it.
Yes. Sir, uh, no, I apologize no, that this assault took place. We'll get back to you 20... within the next six to 12 months with the, the results of this report. Sir in the blue vest, I how can I help it. you? Welcome to, uh, uh, welcome hi, to Hi, how are what you? Do do that wasn't you? what no, I came in for. I've been waiting for 45 sir. minutes. If you have another complaint, 45 minutes. You're going to have to get, minutes. Minutes. Gonna, gonna have to get whoa, back whoa, into the queue whoa, whoa. and wait your turn, sir. You're going to have to. He pushed you me. You helped. You're going to have to wait your turn. All right, sir in the vest, go ahead. How can I help you? Welcome to Mission Row PD, where we make to make. Oh, oh, gee, oh my oh, God. Oh, whoa, hey, I would like whoa. to make a report. This is why I need a table. I would like to report another crime. Oh, excuse me, sir, in the in the white jacket, you're going to have to wait. Sir, in the, in the blue vest, there yes. is a cue. You would like to, you would like to report a crime. Yes, could you describe this crime to me, please? Well, I was kidnapped by this individual, and okay. he had a list. And a list. on that list were a couple of individuals he okay. was about to kill. All right. So he took me to his apartment, which was all the way in, I believe, Sunny Shores. Okay. And he showed me a couple of arms and legs and feet and hand, and it was really scary. Who the fuck you asked? mean like as part of like an interpretive dance program, like he was like doing jazz hands and wearing oh god, I wearing wish. like black but leotards. Sadly, or? no. Oh, okay. So these, I'm, I'm thinking that though. these limbs were disembodied. Yes. Okay, got it. Right. Okay, so he's, after he shows you a collection of hands and feet and stuff, then what? Then he decided to take me to Dean World. All right, Dean World. Could you please be quiet? <laughs> okay, so could he took you me to be quiet? Dean okay. World. Okay, he took you to Dean and World. Okay. Then he took me to the end of the pier and okay. he hit me with a hammer and then he dropped me off the oh pier. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Indeed. All right. That's what I would have said. Okay. And then and, what happened, sir? And then he uh, he shouted, "Now I'm gonna kill the rest," but more like a, "No, I'm gonna kill the rest." You know? Okay, sure. Now, uh, was this before or after the peyote, sir? Oh no, that was just um, I stabbed this officer, and uh, it's what? a Hold on. it's We're a it's gonna just it's a let's back that one up. Resident, yes, What was that part about stabbing an officer? Um, right. Yes, yeah, snitch. You stabbed an officer? You okay, I'm just going to note that down here. After stab, yeah. stabbing an officer. Okay, and uh, so what's what's the nature? It's, so what do you, what's the nature? What's the crux here? You know, it's just, uh, imagine, imagine that you're hacking and I want you to summit mount. What's your point? Okay, let's, what you got? Mm, so, um, that's a good question. Let me think. Okay, all right. I'm going to give you some... Get out of line, right. what you think, eh? Now, the uh, next in line, please. No, 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 no. I got it, I got it, I got it. Next in line, please. No, no, no. Sir, no, no, no. sir in the blue vest, I'm going to have to ask next... you to wait in queue, sir. In the blue vest, I'm going to have to ask you to wait Fine. in queue. Right, sir, in the, in the white jack, go ahead. What what seems to be the issue here? What seems to be the problem here? You, uh, sorry, say that again, sir? One simple request, okay? Yes, go ahead, sir. I need to get in contact with Cleo Shaw... That's it. That's Cleo it. Shore. This okay. guy was going to kill Cleo Shaw. Wait, need... is that the guy who kidnapped you and took you to Del Perro no. Pier? Yeah, he was going to kill Cleo Shaw. No, not this guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, now, um, do you have a message for me to pass on to Cleo? Yes. Get a, can, you, can you stop knocking yes. me? To, sir, 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 can you just, can you focus be careful on, can you focus on your complaint out. here? Sir? Oh, hello. Hello, yeah, welcome sure. to Mission Hi. PD. How can I help you? Um, <laughs> um, fuck, where were we? Um, yeah. Oh, sir, if you, so, if you don't have a question, I'm going to have to ask no, you to no, wait no, in line. No, 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 right, no, sir, no, 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 Next up, please, sir, in the blue vest. Next in the white line. Next in queue. All right, sir, in the white. Yes, go ahead, sir. Right. Please, so Cleo Shorts, get in contact with me. What name? James DeLuca. DeLuca. All right, James DeLuca calling for Cleo Shorts. Here is my phone number. Okay, your phone number. You know, she's actually here right now. She's actually here right now. Well, Let me just go and see if I can pass can this you, message on. Can you get her? It'll be real quick. <laughs> okay. Oh, I spoke to Cleo. I spoke to Cleo yes. on your behalf. I gave, this man I, has an illegal firearm in his person. I gave he her... Just excuse, it. excuse me, sir. Do not interrupt my conversation when I am helping another client. Now, I spoke to Cleo. I gave her the note that yeah. said, do you like me? Yes, no, or maybe. And she circled the maybe. What note? What? No, Isn't no. Is that what you wanted? No. That's what she circled. She circled no. maybe. That means you got a chance. 
I'm I'll give married. You... No. Oh it's well, professional. That's, you don't have to explain that to her later because I drew a little. I drew a little beefus there on the no. bottom of the notes. A little beefus. A little beefus. A little beefus, beefus, little beefus yeah, on the bottom right of the, the note. Make, beefus, make sure yeah. that was a, it was real clear what your intentions were. So she'll get in touch with you real shortly. Okay, sir. I think you have a good chance. Think you got a good chance. Just be aware she cries Listen. a lot. She cries a lot. Just Listen. know that part, okay? What's what's wrong with you, just like this, Mr. Oh. Deluca? What's wrong, Mr. Deluca? Please. What? Please. What? All right, I fine. Just, I'll go. I'll go. What? I'll, you need you, you to want have more? A thirty okay. second conversation. Okay. Uh, Cleo Shaw. That's it. A thirty. That's second. it. I've been trying for weeks. I finally have a chance. Please. Okay. Help you, me. Take the hint. Okay. All right. Well, I'll go. I'll go talk to her. <laughs> Pepper boy. What's up, Pepper boy? How you doing, man? Holy shit. I, Long I time no see. We're working together. I think they might be. Just watch. I got this under control. I think, I think they're trying to get Cleo here to like kill her. I think so. Okay. Oh, I spoke, I spoke with Cleo. She yeah. says that she's interested in having a conversation with you. And she's okay. willing to, she's willing to do it. Yeah. But, but she says she doesn't want to have the conversation here. Because she says that she, she respects the division between her work life separation so she wants you to give her some time to get off duty so she can meet you somewhere how's that sound okay when okay do you know Where? do you know Sir, the, do you know did hold you on. just run around the block or something you are very hey, out of breath you, why you look so red and sweaty i am mildly entertained and extremely infuriated okay Oh, well, shoot. Okay, well, hey, tell Are you what- Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Oh, I love that movie. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, please. sir. Uh, she says, are you going to be around after the test tsunami? I don't know anymore. Well, I'll tell you what. If you are, uh, why don't you go ahead and come on back down to MRPD and ask for Gigi, okay? I'm going to put you in touch with Cleo oh. as soon as she gets off duty. Can you have your little chat? How's that sound? Isn't that nice? can't interrupt a working lady in the middle of her day what are you crazy get off your crazy pants there crazy fool what are you got, got extra crazy in your crazy fruit salad this morning uh-oh ate a big mouthful of crazy wee -woo, wee -woo. So why are you like uh, sir are you having a heart attack you doing okay first time a heart attack uh, making a lot of weird noises that are there, there. why is that guy touching sexual? you so weirdly he is uh, he is he's touching them there he's like hey, over so what's you? up behind you on the wall you see what's written there you see it Oh, I What's don't that? See it's on the what? thing. What's over Did there? you not see it? I don't see anything. Did you not see it? Is he talking about... Uh, oh, should you leave this panel it. open? You gotta you close your thermostats. You're gonna be... Yeah. Electricity bill's you gonna get driven through the roof. Yep. Yeah, right on the hook. Look at adjuster real quick. Right on the hook. Somebody look at your printer on again. Look, I have a, I have a friend right, right who works in a warehouse right, down right on the, the Delaware and Forty Second Street, and uh, uh -huh. he right knows that. Yeah, yeah, they don't out, they don't often check their it? thermostat. When he did, yeah. he found out he was paying an extra hundred and forty six dollars uh, a month in the Holy cow! Hundred and forty six dollars. So all I'm saying is, you're gonna want to make sure to keep keep that closed. You know, keep any pesky fingers, because all it takes is someone coming in from a chilly day to turn up the heat doesn't actually need to be turned up that much because once and they get inside they'll realize James actually James not James. that bad of a temperature so and then next thing you know it's like you're paying 100 and something dollars a month because somebody you decided really to turn the heat up it's crazy just wasting money just might as well be flushing it down you were toilet. burning See, money just like nfts just like nft i don't even understand what those are what are nfts anyways i thought there was pictures. some sort of snack pictures yeah i yeah, thought it was pictures, pictures. anyway yeah. so you make sure to close that close that up okay okay we'll do now can you can i help you do you see it yeah, sorry. No, we didn't see. Were you talking about the thermostat yeah. and how it was open? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, yes. I got it. All right. Yes. Sure. Yes. So what can we do you for, sir? We'll, we'll pass yeah. your note on to Cleo. Anything else we can do for you? Um, I don't know anyone. If it, you need help. I don't think so. Oh, well, on the ground I, for you. I kind of forgot. Well, we appreciate yeah, you coming down here to have a chit chat with us, Mr. DeLuca. Uh, Cleo will yeah. be uh, will be in touch with you. You just get in touch with Gigi next time you're in town, and I'll put you in touch with her presently. Okay? Sounds good. All right. You look a little stuck, Mr. DeLuca. Yeah, Jeez. you are. Jesus, uh, you guys are stunlocked right you're, now. You're, just, you look, so hey. Mr. DeLuca, hey. you look a little. Yeah. <laughs> his face, uh, his mouth Ooh. just hangs open. <laughs> uh, 
All right. I probably wish. Hey, GG, please. Just just get her to call me. My number's in the yellow pages all the fucking time, please. All right. Will do. Please. I'll get here to give you a little jang a -lang. It's yep. been three weeks. You ever three seen weeks. her in three weeks, did you say? Uh, yeah, I've been searching for her in three weeks, but I've been busy you, all time. Yeah. You've been I'm searching not, I'm not, I'm for her? Last, so you're not doing yes, a lot for my for <laughs> You know, when you're it's looking for, for someone work. for three weeks for work, what sort uh, of people look for another very specific person for three yes, weeks for their yeah. job? That's a, that's a fairly restricted window of careers that uh, spend so much time sweatily looking for people. Don't blame me. It's my bosses. I got to do what they say. Sir, are you I on methamphetamine, PHP, HTML? No, yes, I am. I've are you on Angelus, Wowie, Are you on PSP right now? No, I'll see you later. No, metamorphic. Did he just Did he just sniff some HTML in front of us? I think he just, I, I think he just sniffed some JavaScript right there. Holy shit. Yep. Right shit, in front of us. That's like a path or a, 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 a drug that you take that makes you do other drugs. A gateway drug. A gateway drug. Jesus, damn. <laughs> gateway. That's aren't the you, word. The gateway aren't drug. Aren't you supposed to be a cop? <laughs> yeah, listen, man. I just oh, had a, man. a small little brain fart right yeah, there, okay. you know? Hello there. He's selling kids to drugs. <laughs> he is selling kids no, to that's drugs. that's not what's happening. I want the kids. Hello. What? Hello, gentlemen. Welcome to the Pumpkin Vest Convention. How can I help you? Oh, no. I just came back because I got insulted. I don't need any help. I'm all right now. I like pumpkin. Okay, well that's good. One of them likes pumpkin. You like pumpkin Pumpkins seeds? I like pumpkin actually. Yeah. Pumpkin I like taking the seeds nice. out of the. I like taking the seeds out of the pumpkin and cooking them up in the oven. Mm. Is that good? Mm. Is that good? Mm. Mm. It's it's like so good. I've like never pumpkin had pumpkin cheap. seeds. You've never had pumpkin? I'm telling you. You just right? eat the seeds. So it, literally, what you do is you put them on a tray. Okay, you you, uh, you coat them in a little bit of melted butter, a little bit of like smoked paprika, a little bit of salt mm -hmm. and pepper, and you pop okay. them in the oven at like 375 for like 30 minutes. And then they puff up. Some... It's like popcorn, but better. Is, there, is it better than popcorn? It, honestly, it's it's richer. It's a rich experience. It's like a mixture between cashews and popcorn. It's smoky, you know? Smoky, yeah, it is. It is kind of smoke. It's nice. It's real good. If you like any kind of seed, if you like like walnuts, cashews, that kind of stuff, you're going to love pumpkin seeds. Put them in your body. Are they good for you? Of course they're good for you. They got all sorts of omega-3 acids in the stuff and the carbohydrates Wait. and the healthy heart proteins and the cholesterol Cheerios. Wait, they have healthy cholesterol? They have healthy cholesterol. You just eat them by the boatload. Oh, damn. They're basically calorie free. That's not true. Not at all. Well, super, then why did you say it? Super why did you high. Say that? Well, I, you cornered me and I'm trying to advocate for pumpkins here. Well, I mean... Any type of nuts, like super high. Like, have you ever had a scoop of peanut butter? It's like four million calories in the scoop oh, of peanut butter. Believe you me, there's probably nary a kind of nut that I haven't tasted, Dan. Yep. And if you've, I know you've anything, tasted all kinds of nuts. I've tasted all kinds. If there's a, if there's any kind of nut that I haven't tasted, my friend Seth definitely has. There you go. True. My friend Seth has had every kind of nut in his mouth. I can tell you that right yeah. now. <laughs> oh yeah, nuts everywhere. Well, nuts listen, here, hey, nuts, nuts there. Are good. Nuts are good. Nuts are good. That's exactly right. I just sometimes worry my Seth, my friend Seth puts too many nuts in his mouth. You know that game Chubby allergic. Bunnies? Yeah. When you try to put as many marshmallows as you marshmallows? can in your mouth, yeah, yeah, he yeah. does the same thing, but with nuts. He does just with nut nuts? after nut in his mouth. nuts in his mouth? Yep, just nut after nut into his mouth, and he just sees how many he can take. Yeah, they're going to be nutty Can he take buddy. a lot? Can he take dangerous. a lot of nuts in his Did mouth? Did you say that's what they call that nutty bunny? Yeah. That was his nickname in college. It's all coming together now. They used to call him Seth Nutty Bunny. That makes sense. Okay, well, oh. shoot. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Are these, are these the parking attendant? Oh, God. Oh, security officers. Do you see that in the pencil carrier thing? There's a dildo. What, in here? Jesus. Wait, what? There, that, there's a blue Wait. dildo right there. What? There is. Oh, for those lonely nights on dispatch, I get yeah, it. Okay, there. That's a little, a little unsafe. It's don't got think. it's got rubber on the end, so we actually just use that as our eraser for now. Whenever we need to erase anything on that noteboard, we just turn it on and with silicon. Wow. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's the next big thing. You thought dildos were just sex toys? Uh uh. No nope. office erasers. supplies, erasers. Yep. Bingo. It it door saves stops. all that rubbing you have to do when you've got an eraser. 
That's exactly right. And it's a real conversation starter because I can always be like, hi, welcome to Mission Row PD. My name is Gigi. Have you seen our dildo? And they can be like, please, my mother was just killed in a car accident. Real icebreaker. Yeah, not only, you know, not only it doorstop, know? it could be a, a bookmark. Yeah, a bookmark or, or a, a, you a know. Doorstop. A, a doorstop. A doorstop. That's not a bad one. Can stir Something your... to stick on the stool when you sit down. Personally, I've used it a couple yeah. times for stirring my coffee, but it always comes out tasting weird. <laughs> Strangely salty. <laughs> Chat, can you not be gross, please? Bye, Nolan. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay hold on we gotta restart uh mosh girl thanks for the 10 months wick and fury thanks for the 19 my friend i know how much you enjoy my french puns so just let it be known that i am on the lookout for more to torture you with uh side note gg is just kiki without the mustache what the fuck kiki is a goddamn goddess okay I will not have you besmirching the good name of Kiki Chanel. All right, now give me Uno Momento. Okie dokie. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so chat, uh, Wayward, Wayward has decided that now would be a good time to get banned from the channel forever. <clears throat> and allow me to show you why. Hold on, chat. I'll show you. So, I was saying, chat, I was explaining that <clears throat> my haircut maybe looks something like this other Milton's haircut. Okay? So, not really, but... Some people are trying to make the argument that that's what my haircut looks like. Whereas uh, Wayward has decided that peace was never an option because he says my haircut actually looks more like this. Wayward, I'm not talking to you for 11 minutes. I'm not talking to you for 11 minutes. Lynn Unicorn, thanks for the 10 months, Lynn. Appreciate you. Hey, thank you for all the kind words, Lynn. That means a lot. Thank you very much. Torn Firefly, thanks for the 26 months of support. Um, my balls are dragging a year and a half, my amigo. Minion, thanks for the 30 months of lovies. Zarthal, thank you for the 10 months. Uh, Cloud Mesu, thanks for the 14 months. And uh, Monshin Giners, thanks for the 11 months of support. SN Labot, 100 bits. What if GG's initials stood for Greg Garius? Oh my God. Greg Garius Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh, hey, half hours. Thanks for the 19 months of support. Uh, chat, if you've been sitting for the last hour and I don't even know how long, fuck, we've been streaming for like two hours. We haven't had a stretch big. Get up and stretch your dang darn bussies, okay? I'm going to get up and uh, stretch my bussy, and you're going to get up and stretch your bussies. And when we're done stretching our bussies, we're going to get back together and do some more GTA or penis. Do not fucking nopers me. Do not fucking nopers me. Do not fucking nopers me, chat, okay? I'll be right back. That's right, Samio. I want to see some fucking keck squats going on in here. I'll be right back, chat.
It's weird how much this dance matches this music. <laughs> hey, Wiccan, thanks for the hundred bits. You are a real piece of trash. You know that Wiccan Fury? How fucking dare you? Okay, let's go see if someone wants to offer us a job at... Let's see if someone wants to go and offer us a job at the hospital. Nad314, I'm level 110 in ring fit. I can't stretch my bussy because at this point it's made from steel from all those squats. Oh my God, you're killing it, Nad. That's fucking insane. Oh, I forgot this is our fucking bike. I love GG's fucking bike. Oh, it still has this fucking bell on it. <laughs> it's got a fucking headlight. Oh, amazing. Okay. <laughs> what does RP light uh, mean in rest circumstances too? Never played, but I'm very interested in taking along for the ride. Sorry to kind of derail the conversation. So basically, um, RP light, what I mean by RP light, by having a, a rest server that does RP light, is that um, the only condition is that you, you don't have to role play with other people. You just can't start talking about like, oh yeah, like I'm having problems with my video card. My NVIDIA 3090 is giving me a heart, like that sort of stuff. You have to just sort of only say things that would make sense within the world. So you're not forced to role play with people. You can't, just, someone just can't come up to you and you just start talking with totally immersion breaking shit. So it just means that if you want to play and not really role play with people, then you just have to, you have to t tailor your, uh, your um, interaction around that. But uh, yeah, so what I was thinking we would do is um, set up the server and then whoever wants to play on the server will go through a whitelisting process again. And um, we will uh, whitelist, um, as met, and now that I now that I'm rebalancing things and no longer just trying to focus on streaming 65 hours a week, I'll be able to help with the whitelisting too. And um, then what I thought might be fun is maybe once or twice a week I'll schedule an event um, in the server and film some of the shenanigans and then turn the shenanigans into a video and then show the video to the rest of chat. Uh, so that's sort of the idea with the Rust server. So keep your peepers peeled on that. And if you want to join the community Rust server, um, make sure you're in our Discord. Discord.gg slash Milton T. Pike 1. Chat, make sure you're in there. That is where the announcements about the Rust server will be happening. Also, something else that's going to be happening, can I see some pogs in chat, is going to be the community voiced playthrough of Skyrim. I'm going to start putting that together over the next month or two so that we can have anyone who wants to voice a character in Skyrim. Uh, we're going to be doing that in pretty short order. So if you were wanting to watch me play through Skyrim and you were wanting to voice one of the characters in the game and possibly even choose the picture that will, that will face the skin, uh, we're going to be doing that too. My goal is to spend a good amount of time sitting there and replacing all the voice files for every single person that wants to voice the character so if we have 200 people that want to voice characters i want to sit there and see if i can get 200 people's voices put into the game we got some good resources recently i think we might coordinate shit with sn labot yeah fuck yeah dude so yes i have a terrible finnish accent that's fucking amazing so anyways that's one of my big goals for 2022 is going to be doing a playthrough of skyrim with voices characters and lines being replaced by community members yarl j reality yeah <laughs> it's me yarl reality come on in <laughs> Welcome to the town. It's me, your reality. <laughs> I was wondering if you'd like to do the at a stupa. <laughs> Yarl starts with J. Yeah, so anyways, I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be really fucking fun. Utrid, son of Utrid, son of Utrid. <laughs> <laughs> e 
Evil M, thanks for the 25 months, Evil M. Actually, we're gonna go lock our fucking bike. That makes sense. I wanna voice something? Fuck, don't, no. Okay, the only person that is definitely not gonna be voicing anything is Dr. Pregnant Mario. Everyone else can word it, can voice a character if they want. <laughs> Get that fucking pregnant Mario out of my face. Um, Abraxa, thanks for the 24 months. Two freaking years. Evil M, thanks for the 25 months. Dangle Beans, thanks for the 33, my friend. Ryan XP with the eight months. Nocturne, thanks for the 14 months. Gunstinger, thanks for the four months. Havergas, 41, dude. Poo Daddy D, thanks for the seven months of love. He's nothing better than some multi GTA RP. Hey, appreciate you, Poo Daddy. Well, howdy doody there. How's it going? Oh, not so bad, not so bad. How are you? How's business? How's work? Oh, you know, same stuff, different day. I get it, I get it. Hey, I was wondering if your lovely hospital here could do with having a dedicated receptionist just someone who works in the reception that's it i i yep. know that there was a lady here who did that job at one point but i would love to take over the reins what do you say yeah that'd be great okay well is there any sort of will i get will i be able to pull in a paycheck or you know is it so for the, you'll have to speak with an actual doctor about that, but for the time being, yeah, I can get you some cash on the side. Oh, well, shoot. Okay. Now, how many doctors are in town today? Oh, uh, let me check. I haven't seen any just yet, okay. but there might be a couple off duty. That's fair. See if I can't grab somebody. I wonder, chat, what do you think? All right. Nobody just free. yet. Nobody just yet, you say? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, shoot. Oh, gosh darn frick. <laughs> what the heck are we going to do about that shoot? You think they'll be around? Uh, probably in an hour or so, yeah. Okay, sure. Well, shoot, I'll tell you what. Well, then, uh, how many EMS are in today? Uh, we've got two so far. Two so far. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go and uh, get a cell phone because mine's busted. And I'm going to come on back. And if you won't give me your uh, phone numbers, I can, um, well, I guess, should I? Mm, yeah. I'll, I suppose maybe, maybe that's, should I call you if someone brings someone in, you know, and there's no EMS around? Should I give one of you two a call? Or what do you yeah, think? Yeah, we could do that. You we could, can. uh, 311. Oh, um, three, one, one. Oh, that makes that makes great sense. Yeah, okay. Okay, sure. I'm going to go buy a phone, and I'm going to come back, okay? And then I got to talk to a police officer named Officer Dan Faley. I think he's got a crush on me. That wouldn't surprise me, you know? So I'm going to go get a phone, and I'll, I'll come back here. Do you have a phone number, just in case? Yes. Let me get that for you. Let me okay, I'm going to try to card. memorize it, because I can't actually put it into my phone on account of being dead. Here we go. Oh, perfect. my name is uh, Chief Zach Kellogg. Chief Zach Kellogg. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Kellogg. That's got to be a tough one these days, huh? Right. <laughs> All right. If I'll only I saw any of that money. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, uh, Callisto Tyler, thanks for the two month resub. Uh, you ever go to the gym shower with your socks on and play dodge the juicy dad dongs as a small three foot child? Uh, boy, that's a uh, lot to unpack there. Um, wow. Hey, wish you all the best. <laughs> Chat, listen, we're all going through different stages, okay? Different stages for different folks, all right? <laughs> uh, there's, there's, that's sure a lot to unpack, exactly. Oh, what an unfortunate day to have ears, one might say. Yeah, right. Um, Fajita, thank you for the nine months, my friend. Fajita. Okay. All righty. We're going to get a cellular, tellular, interactive modular. One moment. All right, sorry about that, chat. I had to send a message. Do not text and bike while you're actually biking, chat. It's dangerous. 
Okay. Hey, just some Asian guy with a dog. Thanks for gifting a subscri- uh, uh, Thanks for gifting a sub to thank you for gifting a sub to for one month. Wow. That was a really fucking confusing sentence to say. Hey, just some Asian guy with a dog. Thank you for gifting a sub to thank you for gifting a sub to for one month. <laughs> Chat, I'm doing my best, okay? Uh, God, Gigi, would you just put some fucking elbow grease into it here? Biking at the speed of smell. Oh my God, V the chef. How you doing, Vita Chef? Thanks for gifting that sub to Rubber Razors. That's weird. Milton is strongkin? I'm not strongkin. What do you mean? Do you smell burnt toast? No, I don't smell burnt toast. Do you smell shut up toast? Come on. Come on, GG. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Okay. Okay, I've got a plan, chat. I know what we're going to do. I know exactly what we're going to do. What did Neural Johnson say? He's gonna let me a voice, he's gonna let me voice a dragon? No, chat. Neural Johnson tags me in chat and says, Milton's gonna let me voice a dragon. No, I'm not going to let Neural Johnson voice a dragon. No, I'm not going to do that. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't be a dick. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, Neural Johnson. Just let me voice a dragon. No, I'm not going to just let you voice a dragon. Don't be lame. I'm not being lame. Chat wants me to. I don't give a shit what chat wants. If chat types Borpa Spin, maybe he'll listen. No, I won't listen if people type Borpa Spin. No. No, that's a lie. Someone lied to you, chat. That's a fib. Chat, someone is fibbing to you. You're just, you're just immediately feeding into a fib. You've been fibbed too. Hey, I'm just coming in here to get a phone. What about you? Haha, <laughs> just kidding, loser. See you later, you freaking lame butt idiot moron. <laughs> well, that was rude. Don't know who that was, but that was hurtful. <laughs> okay, um. Oh, yes. Here we go. Open shop. Open shop. I just got my phone. I just got my cellular modular interact. Oh, you freaking moron, you freaking idiot it's still standing here. Oh yeah, did you get your stupid phone, moron? Yeah, you got your stupid phone, idiot. Wow, we're all so impressed with you for getting your phone, moron. Yeah, that's what I thought, idiot. Someone got you. Man, he's in a bad mood. Now I wonder, since I got this, uh, now that I got this cellular interactive modular, I wonder if it works. I wonder if I can play a bop.
god chat stop the music aaron's hair aaron just got a haircut she looks like an angel oh my god look how amazing she looks look how gorgeous she is get out of town oh my god i'm the luckiest man in the world you look like an angel wow she did an incredible job you look amazing holy shit you're so pretty jesus uh gg i'm playing gg, <laughs> playing GG. Uh, GG. got old gg nolan he might get a job as a receptionist oh, or uh, oh, a dispatcher wow. for the police oh dispatcher <laughs> would be good yeah i like that so uh we're we're seeing if any of those will hit pay dirt so far dispatcher. no such luck yeah i know i think dispatcher would be funny right i just love you mm -hmm. ah, you're my favorite <laughs> eat that booty like groceries <laughs> <laughs> If I could tell you the look of revulsion and disappointment that Aaron's giving me right now, chat. All right. <laughs> I'm not your favorite, says Valkno. Yeah, you're a second, close second, you know? <laughs> My mom was a dispatch for Schneider, like a hot dog company. Um finds you a significant other that looks at you like Milton looks at the real streamer. Get away from me. <laughs> I would love to see Nancy and GG shenanigans. Who's Nancy again? Nancy, Nancy. Maybe a pilot of dispatch and emergency don't work out. Also, also a great option. Um, been away for over a month. When did you get that haircut? Yesterday. I actually just got it yesterday. Um, not gonna lie, that was like watching my parents try to be romantic. Um, <laughs> what are you saying? It made you uncomfortable because you grew up in a home where no one ever expressed affection? Is that what you're trying to fucking say, Straws? <laughs> made you made you uncomfortable because your mom and dad never showed any love to each other? <laughs> Nancy does dispatch as well. She does a bunch of funny shenanigans at PD. Oh, that's fucking amazing. Okay, I love that. Nancy Ree is great. I agree. You guys would get along great. She's Apple Shampoo, I believe, on Twitch. Oh, fucking amazing. Okay, got it. Yes, now I'm crying. Good, you little crybaby. <laughs> Too real? Same. Hey, listen, I'm speaking from experience, okay? Um, Real Joe Beers, thanks for the eight-month resub, my friend. E oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Oh, goodness sake. The freaking thing came out of nowhere. Could have died. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> um, cold friction. Thanks for the 22 freaking months. Jabba Vike, 500 bits. Um, can you ha Can you make a Seth Drums inspired character named Jeff Strums? <laughs> Jeff Strums. <laughs> Jeff Strums. I would, but I don't think they have any preteen models in uh, no pixel. Uh, Brutz420, thanks for the 16 months. Brutz, I appreciate you. Sam92, thanks for the three month resub. Where can I hear that bop again? That was a song by Tipper. That was a song by the artist known as Tipper. And I think it was called Keith Oath or Ken Oath. Tipper is the name of that artist. He's incredible. Um, Alexa fart. Okay, Google, please play a big fart sound effect. Hey, Alexa, play a big fart sound effect, please. There we go. Just in case anyone's listening to this in speakers. <laughs> it's in the other room. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, scream now. Will Alexa scream if you just tell Alexa to scream? <laughs> do you think you'd ever do an RP Lite Minecraft server? I have no idea if you have interest in that game or not. Just started getting back into it with 1.18 update. Yes, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not um, closed to the possibility. I'm not shut off to that possibility. Wow, now it's popping. They don't have any bike lockup things anymore? Well, I guess I'm just going to have to leave it here then. Chained to rail.
There we go. Got it. Forward thinking. So, so moderate. Hey, y'all. Be right with you in just a minute. I'm reception here, PD. I'm just going to get someone to let me in back into the office, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, we got to say something convincing here, chat. Okay. Hello. This is GG Nolan. I was completing an unpaid internship. Internship, yes. Dispatch at MRPD. I'm back now, and there is quite a queue forming. Would you like to let me in to the office so I can start record keeping? That sounds nice. That sounds convincing, doesn't it? <laughs> you motherfucker, my Google Home just played fart sounds off of Spotify. Amazing. <laughs> my Google played Old Town Road fart remix on YouTube music. Thank you for that. <laughs> I just got back to my office. Why is my Google Home farting? <laughs> It was the uh, last so I, uh, I, I I left the queue real quick so you could uh, get in front of me. Oh, so you are a very, very kind say. man, you. Hello, sir. My name's Gigi Nolan. I was the one that dialed 311. You want to let me into the office so I can start doing some paperwork for these lovely folks here? Uh, sir, I'm, I'm, uh, come on in, sir. I was just speaking with Officer Dan that's Faley, that's if, you're, if you're able to speak with him. Lord. All right, I'll go, I'll go find him right now for you, sir. All right, I'll just stay right here. I'll take a little seat. I'm just going to pop a squad. All right, the in. Oh. It's, I'm new. I understand. People got to be safe. There's all sorts of crazes out there th these days. You know, I saw a man eating a six foot Subway sandwich on the bus the other day. All six feet. No tomatoes. No tomatoes. No tomatoes. It was the craziest thing I ever saw in my life. Meatball sub. Six feet long. Crazy. Six feet? How did I get them the Subway? I, I guess you could say. Hey, bro, oh, the sub, like my the house? Sub, excuse me, miss. We were in the middle of a conversation and you so rudely interrupted, Miss Fancy Glasses. Uh, what sort of houses are you selling? All around the city. What's your best house? Buying one, 1. 1.6 million. How much? How, how much did you say? 1.6 million. All right, I've got $7,800 in the bank. What will that get me? Mm. Possibly a storage unit for one week. Oh, boy. All right, thanks algo, anyway. Boy. Algo de dos mil dólares? Million dollars, chat. Oh, my God. Excuse me? Algo que cueste nada más dos mil dólares? Sir, you need to take it. You need a cough drop, sir, in the oh, suit. Okay. Sí, sí, sí. Well, there he is, the bell of the ball, my old friend, Mr. Oh, Mr. Nolan. You see, look at the queue that develops when no one's here. That to the, and that we have people leaving unsatisfiedly, but it ain't gonna happen when Gigi's on the on the on the task. All right. right? Okay. Here, follow me. Okay. Here, take this. What am I taking here? A ah! notepad. Notepad for me. Oh, a notepad of ten pages. Shoot, how do I use this? Oh my lord! Yeah, it's a notepad. No way. Can I erase it after I write stuff on it, or is it like a magical notepad that turns it into a blood rune? Uh, but I am still alive. No, you can't erase it. I wait. What? Man with white hair. Well, if I, if I, if can, am I able to? Am I able to like use it multiple times? Can I erase it yes, and rewrite it, it over and over? Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it gonna be like my phone? I'm gonna wake up one day and it's just gonna fall apart in my hands. Oh, we didn't go get you a phone. You wanna go get a phone? Uh, well, you know, cause someone didn't do it for me. No, no, one. it's too late. I already got one. See? Oh, okay. I had to go and do it myself. Sorry. I had to bicycle all the way there. And there was a man in the parking lot who was talking a lot like this and he was very rude to me. He said all sorts oh. of hurtful things, and he drove away just because I was trying to get a phone. <laughs> are you are you okay? Yeah, I just don't know, but people say mean things to me. 
Well, you know what? You need to... You need to say mean things. Well, no, because you don't want to say mean things. Mean hey, back. sir, on behalf of Mission Road PD, F you. On behalf of Mission Road PD, I don't think your parents were very intelligent. On behalf That's one of way to go about it. Mission Road PD, I believe that your character flaws are the result of childhood traumas that you are too much of a coward to address and your whole life is going to continue to be a disappointing turn of events until you take accountability <laughs> for the fact that you're just not a good person. <laughs> Say things like that. Yeah, we think. Yeah, you could probably do that. Say Things like that to people if they come in yeah, and they're you rude. Can you can probably do that. Probably like, well, you all right? Are you something? What's going on? Yeah, I, okay. Life's too bright in here? It's just really, yeah, it's just a little fluorescent. Oh, okay. Well, shoot. It's well, just, just so burning my eyes. You're, okay, you're fine. Listen, you're fine. Yeah. Now, 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 I won't be able to get 911s, but I can stand there and take notes and phone people. And like, I can take, oh, you need to speak to so-and-so. All right, I'll take down your name and information. And then I'll call them. You know what I mean? See, I could do that yeah. for you. That'll help, won't it, Mr. Faley? Yeah, just, uh, yeah, let me, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good, doesn't it? Anything else you want me to do? What's your phone number? Give me your phone number, Dan. I'm gonna write it down right now. Give me your phone number. There you go. Okay, 628. 628. 851. 851. Uh-huh, and then what? You have to say it first. I I don't know what it is, Dan. Yeah, but you were saying it first the whole time. Dan, I'm going to set you on fire if you don't tell me what it is. Wait, what? I'm going to set you on fire if you don't tell me your phone number is, Dan. Can you not? Can I have gasoline in my trunk. I have gasoline in my trunk in my apartment. 3188. Oh, damn. Bailey. Okay. All right, I got you in there. Okay, I'm going to call you if anyone needs help with anything ever. I'll just call you nonstop, okay? All right. Okay, that's fine. Here, let's sure. Uh, let's go. I've to, I'm just gonna monitor you while you take, the, you know, the calls and all that, or the the notes. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, sure. Oh my goodness. Hello. Hello. Listen, Thank I'll let I'll let you, you go for first coming to I smacked you in the face. To, so you, uh, you Mission ahead. Row PD. No, 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 I, I insist. Oh, no. Ladies, what? Ladies first. Ladies nice first. to meet yeah, all yeah. of you. Oh, hello. Yeah. Hi. hi. <laughs> I'm trying to tell this nice lady that I accidentally smacked in the face uh, to, that she can go first. But I, I insist. Okay, fine. All right. So listen. Yes. Uh, how can I help you? you? My name yes, is Gigi. My, What's your my name? My name's Jim. My name's Jim. How, how you doing? How long since your last visit? Uh, you know, it's been, uh, I would say, uh, three days. Are three you, days. Are you aware of our frequent users program? Uh, no, what is uh, what is this frequent if, users program? Can I sign up? If you become a frequent users program here at Mission Row PD, as in you utilize police services frequently, you are eligible to get a uh, punch card. And on your 10th punch, you get a free ride from the crime of your commission to Mission Row PD for processing. Wow, that sounds incredible, but I, I don't I don't commit crime. That's why I'm actually here. Well, never say never. Okay, you didn't commit crime, but that's why you're here. Well, what can you tell me, sir? Go ahead. So, so yeah, so I've already uh, I've already received my uh, my application. Okay, um, you've received your application, and uh, I've I've already filled it out. But I would like to uh, see if there's a way that I could you know maybe tag along with uh, an officer for a ride along. Or well, like that. now listen, I have an important question for you before I can answer that, and that is, go, go for are it. you comfortable? flying a VTOL jet uh you know I I wouldn't say I'm 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 a pro, you know master at it well but, uh, the good, the good news is try, the good news is try. the good news is Mr. Faley has assured me that no experience is required we're just gonna get you oh. slapped in one of those bad boys okay wait what I mean a ride along I can ride along no in it. Well, why, why bother with that a ride along when you can fly your very own VTOL for free without having ever flown it before okay All so right, well which if is I saying? crash it is it is it my fault like am I at fault or is it the city no it's not, of course it's not your fault that's like it's like a training program okay and what'd you say your name was uh my name is jim jim janus jim jim j yeah anus yeah yeah so j-i-m is my first name okay and my last name is j-a-n-u-s jim janus oh J oh i thought your name was jim jim janus it's jim janus okay yes, yes sir okay well i know my way around a janus or two as well okay what's your phone number there sir uh, yeah, here. Uh, let me uh, let me give it to you. If you want, just want to go ahead and read it out loud for me. I'm gonna write it down right here. Uh, uno, 
Uh, yeah, so it's uh, 415. 415. 654. 654. 9074. 90174. Uh, no one. No one. Oh, 974. 415 654 974. Uh, 9074. Oh, 415 654 974 9074. That's close enough. Okay, 415 654 974 9074. Okay, Here, you said let's, you. Let's, let's do it one more time. All right, okay. okay, one more time. Okay, so, uh, four. Let's do Four. Okay. Right, next, four. Four. Next is one. one. No. 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 Wait. Hold okay. On. Four. Four. Let's, one. Five. Wait, six. Five. Four. Nine. By. Seven. Four. Nine. Zero. Listen, seven. Four. This is not my <laughs> well, number. I am writing it down. What, sir? Would you get it scribble together? It out. Okay. I'm it out. All right. I'm scribbling it out. All right. Okay. So we're gonna start with the first number. Yes. It's four. Four. Okay. Got it. Yep. All right. And second number. Yep. One. Okay. One. All right. Third number. Yep. Five. Five. Okay. What do you got so far? I think I'm Four. Gonna, I'm gonna ask Four. One. Five. All right. You're doing fan fucking tastic. Okay. Good. This is great. Right, Making progress. Yep. yep. So it's six. All right. Six. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, the uh, what number is that? Uh, fourth number. All right. Okay. Uh, it's uh, or no wait no shit that's not right. The fifth fourth. number. Okay. Fuck. All right. The fifth number. Yeah. Is wait, five. is it the five? Is the fifth number? Okay. The, wait, four? Wait, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Wait. Four. The fourth number is five, and the fifth number is five. There's two fives back yeah. to back. Wait, but what no, about the, the third? Fourth number. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. Oh, it hold five. on. Am I, am I right so far? I've got four, four, one, five, six, four, five, five. <laughs> Uh, here. Uh, four one five six five four, four nine zero seven five, four. Four one five six five four, five, six, four, five, four nine zero seven, seven four. Zero, four one five six seven, five four, four nine zero seven okay, four. Okay, got it, got it. And you said you would apply to be a police officer, and you're hoping to get a ride along. Uh, so I haven't submitted my application. I would like to, to do some ride alongs just so that uh, maybe I can get more references. I already oh. have uh, I already have a reference, uh, oh. but I'd like to get more. You know. Well, I'd tell I'd like you to what. get to meet more people. Oh, well, shoot. If they give me a, a patrol car later, maybe I'll take you out on a drive along myself. Oh, Easy. That sounds, that sounds great. But I tell you, you what. Fantastic. I tell you what. I'll make you a promise that if I can't take you out on a ride along, then when Mr. Dan Faley allows me to drive a VTOL by myself solo, like I'm he promised he ever. would, you can be my co pilot. Fantastic. And that'll, that sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can. Uh, Maybe you can show me how to like do some flips and shit. You know, uh, absolutely. Like mode. I played Star Fox a few times. I know how to do a barrel roll. Okay, well, move yeah, a do a barrel roll. roll. Yeah, do a exactly. barrel roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, well, well, Mr. Mr. Jim Janus, you have yourself a fantastic day. I'll, I'll make sure a police officer gets this note, passes along the information to you ASATP pronto. All right, fantastic. When, when should I be expecting to hear back? You should expect to hear back at any point within the next eight to 16 months. That sounds like a fucking plan. All right, thank you so much. You take yep. care, Mr. Janus. All right, uh, you too. No, I appreciate Mr. it. Yes. Colin, you, you think you were trying to make a joke there about eight to 16 months? It's actually, it's definitely eight to 16 months. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I made it like it was a joke, but no, I'm sure it's was, not actually that, that much a of a joke. <laughs> I didn't think it was a joke. I thought it was very serious. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Mr. Yeah, Janus, fantastic. thank you for coming yes. down here. You have yourself a wonderful day, okay? Hey, yeah, you do the exact same. I'm going to have a I special admit, one. Hey, wait, what was my phone number again? I forgot. Okay, let's see here. I have... Oh, <laughs> Mr. Faley, it did not save my note at all. This uh -oh. is a stupid notepad. I don't know why you gave this to me. Did you, did you, uh, hit, did you hit the save yeah, button? Yeah, of course I hit the stupid save button on it. Did, wait, oh, oh, go into your pockets. Did they give you a note? Oh! Well, I knew that. You got it. I was right, testing so you. It? Okay, let's see here. All right, I have. Uh, How you doing? Hello. Okay, I have. And correct me if I'm wrong. Jim Jamis, four one five six five four one zero seven five four. Fuck no! Do we have to do this all over again? It's fine. Don't worry about it, Jim. I'll make sure someone's in contact with you. Okay, I'm a very uh, capable man. I, I appreciate your time. True. Listen, I don't mean to hold up this whole line here. I hope everyone, uh, listen, I told you you could go in front of me, so this isn't my fault. Sir, the queue is yeah. getting very long. Sir, the queue is getting, yeah. we're going to have to oh, ask yeah. you to move along, hey, sir. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you. Next. <laughs> now serving number three. Hi there. Welcome to Mission Road PD, where it's our mission to make sure you have a pretty good day. <laughs> How can I help? My name's Gigi Nolan. How can I help? 
have um, some very sensitive issues that I need to speak with you in private about. Very sensitive. Miss, I am happy to tell you that there is no place more private in all of Los Santos than where you are right now. Speaking to me through a window. Don't you feel yeah, private? No. I feel private. Don't mind those two random guys behind you. Um, maybe you can tell uh, uh, Jackie Snow that I'm here and he, he can help me. Jackie Snow. Okay, sure. I'm gonna go ahead and write that down right now. Would you say your name was, sweetheart? Ah, uh, it's Nicolina Quinn. What? What? Nicolina Quinn? N no, Nicolina Quinn. Nicolina Quinn. Yeah, you might have seen me on the Quinternet. Hey. On the I'm what? Very, the Qu Quinternet, my app. Yeah. The Quinternet. Yeah, okay. where I post my Quintalks. Oh, wow. And my Quinstagrams. And your Quinstagram. Wow. Is it everything just named after you? Basically, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh. Um, I was dating this, like, greasy dude, and he made me an app for free. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh huh. He was, like, really good. I think his name was, like, Mark or something. I met him. While okay. We were, like, soul searching. It was really nice. Wow. So I had to ditch him because he was like, I own the rights to this. And I was like, it's literally named Quinstagram. So we okay, got a so, lawsuit. So what, uh, what, all right, all right Nicole, and what's the nature of your, of your business with Mr. Snow? Just so I can let him know what this pertains to. You could tell him it's about the secret operation oh, slash secret. sting, sting operation. We're setting up. What type of sting operation? I don't know if you are allowed to know. Hey, yo, I'm a cop. I mean, I, of course I know. If you were a cop, would you be standing in there? Oh, uh, I, I beg your pardon. You should know, young lady. This young man is taking time out of his day to instruct me on how to be the best uh, customer service representative, Mr. OPD. And we find that that attitude to be unbecoming. I'm yeah, I'm a, I'm a senior deputy, gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Senior deputy. But what did you do to be stuck in here with this dud? What? This dang skin? Excuse oh, okay. Me? All right. I'm going to put this down right here. Hey, you know what? I want you to know something. All the bad things that happened to you in your life, you deserve all of them until you change your oh. attitude. Yep. My until attitude. until oh, you change your attitude, you deserve all the you bad things what? that happen to you. You, you deserve what, them. Sir? I'm sorry. I'm just a little... I'm not hangry specifically. I'm just a little bit like... I, I'm just a little bit like I understand. agitated right now. It's Peckish. my fault. I'm yeah. sorry. I haven't had right. a solid meal in three years. Oh, oh wait, that's, what? that's upsetting. What are you eating yeah, instead? The Quinn Nutri Shakes. Boy, that sounds gross. Mm, they are <laughs> that delicious. Sounds, that sounds pretty no. nasty. Pretty, oh, pretty you know. horrible. That sounds, yeah. pretty, that sounds pretty bad. Well, I would not enjoy that at all. <laughs> Okay, uh, all right, and um, I was, so I was it's- I trying to be nice and apologize to you. Okay, 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 ma'am, listen. Uh, yeah. Could you just go ahead and give me your phone number here? I'm just gonna go ahead and write it down for Mr. Snow. Uh, he has my number. Uh, really ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. I'm just gonna get, oh. go ahead and write down your phone number here, okay? You just let me know, go ahead. What was your name? You it was ready? Like Quinn it was Nicolina Quinn. Oh. I'm all yeah. over it, Mr. Failey. Go ahead, miss. All right. All right, it's four. Okay. Four. One. Okay. Five. All right. What do you have so far? I've got four. Uh-huh. Uh, one. Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh -huh. five. Okay. Next. Okay. <laughs> Two. Next. Wait, sorry. That's after the one or after the five? After the five. Okay. Uh, and there's one, two after the five. Yeah. No. There's, okay. Wait. There was two. There was one, two after. Yeah. The, there's one the five, right? after the five. There's one, two, right? <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. Next. Zero. Okay. Hey, Zero. Over here. Excuse one. me. We have an one, emergency. Zero. Hey, oh. hey. There is a queue. There is a queue. Hey, excuse me. There's, there's, there's a queue. We'll respect the queue, emer sir. Emergency. You like your GD I need, turn. I need you to let him die quieter while yeah, we handle it. Okay. Can you encourage him to keep it down? Okay, uh, miss. All right, uh, two zero one. Next what? Eight. Okay, eight. All right. Six. Okay. Three. Now hold on. You said that was eight. Hold on. You said that was eight six three. Really? Really? Uh -huh. really? Okay. Sure. Sure. Thank you. Eight okay. six three. Excuse Got me. Got it. 
Yeah, okay. Excuse you. There is a time and a place for this, sir. Hey, okay. Hey, I'm not and that is no not now. Sir, this is a very serious. We are trying to. This is a. This is with regards to a top secret police sting. Okay. I'm gonna need you to I keep your voice down. down. Wait, and no, we no. can have like when you're done with them, I can tell you all about it because it's highly sensitive. Okay. And I need a, a snow's audience. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna make sure he calls you back here. I've got your number down here at four one five one two zero one eight eight six three. Yeah, I think that's what she's. Right. I'm pretty sure. No. That's what she said. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna pass that on to uh, Mr. Snow. Let him know that Nick Walina Quinn, inventor of the Quinternet, is looking for him with regards to some sensitive information. Okay. Legally, I didn't invent the Quinternet, Mark. Oh. Did. Oh wow! Well, um, shoot. So okay. I can't say that. That's okay, got opening it. Opening me up for a lot of legal issues. Oh shoot! Okay. Um, I am the owner, though. Oh, you're the owner. Well, shoot, look at that. Okay, the owner Yay. of the Quinternet. Yeah, uh -huh. look at you. Go, girl. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Yeah. While I still the have Quinter you here. Man. Okay, three, two, one. You're the best. Hi, oh, Kitty. Chi uh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, Chi. It's, it's oh, this me. Is, what do I do with my video. hands? I, I think it's a video. I, don't, it's know. Video. I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm just going to love I'm just going to put... Is I'm, I'm back at this. MRPD. We are here with the secret mission. Look at these two. I'm talking to this guy. What's your name? Uh, 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 hi, I'm, I'm Gigi, Gigi, no, Gigi Nolan. It's Gigi. Oh my God. Uh, <gasps> Ooh, we got a uh, super like for it, you. Oh, we got a, <gasps> wait, oh, 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 I got a, I got a super you like. Dab. You need to dab now. Dab on them. You need oh, to I need to dab. Need to dab? Do it. Dab. Oh, you got. Oh, you're getting. Like that. You're getting access. <gasps> you're getting access. I don't want access. Like I'm dabbing harder. I'm dabbing harder. I don't. I can't. I can't dab it all. Then I'm dabbing. <gasps> we <laughs> just got a mega bomb. That means that I'm. Oh my god. She <laughs> going she, to the next level. <gasps> she, uh, uh, oh my god. Thank streamer. you guys. I don't know what she's doing. Okay. I'm on the Quinternet. All right. She's on the Quinternet. Oh, the Chat, Can stop dabbing. Want a shout out? Stop dabbing. She's, she's probably on the uh, I, I'd like to give a shout out to my to my my good friend and number one police officer in all of Los Santos, Daniel Faley. Hey, that's wait. That's that. <laughs> wow. so I gave him a. Sh I hope he catches this later. Uh, Say, excuse me. I'm you need to wait hey, in queue. You need to wait. <laughs> There is a queue! No, there is a queue for a reason! No, there is a queue! There is a queue! Oh, we actually have a question! Oh, there's a question! Oh! We have a question to Dan from one of the chatters here. Dan! Yeah? Why have you shaved, like, half of your head? That's just, it's aerodynamic. Hey, yeah. hey, 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 I'll have you know. No, no, no. Ooh, he didn't shave. No, he didn't shave half. No, he's not compensating, as a matter of fact. Ooh. That that haircut is very stylish. And in fact, there's nothing wrong with it. Dan yeah, looks I'm very dark. Definitely, definitely, very dark. Okay, listen, we're good. I think I bet you anything that, in fact, multiple veterans have the exact same haircut. And um, yeah. unless you mean to say that you hate the troops, I would avoid oh, oh, besmirching oh, oh. that haircut. Oh. <laughs> I actually do not hate the troops. I am with Pillbot, and Pillbot has actually gone on record for being pro-America, so you should vote Pillbot. And I would just like to bring up this thing that nobody else has gone on record saying they're pro-America of the candidates so far, and that should say something in reason. No. Vote for Pillbot. Also, are you gonna let Tim know I'm here? Yes, of course. Yeah, I've got will. your note written down, sweetheart. That Nick will eat a queen from the queen. Uh oh. Oh, boo 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 boo. All right, you have a wonderful have a day. Adios. Hey, come on up. Welcome to Mission Row PD, where we're, it is our mission to make sure that you have a P good D. <laughs> How can I help you today? My name is Gigi Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> hey, my name is Kenny. Oh. Um, Hi, Kenny. Hi. Uh, so I was uh, wondering if it's possible to meet somebody from High Command. 
Meet somebody I have a business from proposal. Hockey. You have a business proposal for yes. somebody from my wife? Yeah. Wow. Can you imagine? Wow. That's okay. crazy. Uh, all right. Now, could you oh, tell shit. me the nature of this Take business it, proposal? Okay. And, uh, what? Mr. Going, Faley? Going. Okay. Come with me. Come oh, with me. We got to go. <laughs> Sir, I'll be back to address your complaint later. <laughs> Oh shoot! Daniel! I'm going as quickly as I can! Daniel! I'm here! I'm here! Where I'm gonna help you, Daniel! What's going on, Daniel? What is it? Oh my god! Oh, this is really kicking off now! Uh, where do you want Air 1? Up uh, the county or the 13 Alphas on Del Perro? Oh my god, chat. Oh my lord! What's going on, Mr. Faye? Hold on, there's, there's officers being shot! Oh my god! Chat! Alright, hey, uh, Air 1 to Where do you guys need me? Hold on. I need something. Give me this. Here we go. Wait, what? Where's my music? Oh, there it is. Okay, we got it. There. Cinematic mode. Go. That's four overhead. All right, Nolan, look out for a great bison. Great bison. Okay, I'm looking for one. Is a bison? Is that the car? Oh, 10 4. We're going to go clear the windmills and then go to Bullenbrook. Oh my god. Ah! Where are we headed? What did this person do? Is this the person that shot them police officers? He shot the cops. Is he driving a van or a car? A, a bison, a truck. Oh, it's a truck, okay. You want me to go up to the county there, uh, Nova? Never. All right, now we're going up to the jail because there was cops shot there too. Apparently. Oh my lord! Police officers shot up everywhere. Gee, Willikers! Jack, yeah, your that's eyes just open. a normal day here, Nolan. Oh my lord! Well, not when GG Nolan is on shift. No siree. <laughs> Jay. Peepers, Jack. Peepers. Switch yeah, to the vision. Use your All right, so I'm going to go up to the this place called Grandma's. Grandma's? Oh, I love Grandma. Oh my goodness. Okay, that sounds no, this good. This is a bad Grandma. A bad, this is grandma? A bad Grandma. Is there such a thing as a bad Grandma? I never heard of that before. Yeah, see, this Grandma is like an old lady who picks up bad people after they've been hurt, so they don't have to go to the hospital. Oh, well, shoot, in that case, all grandmas are terrible. Every single grandmother is terrible. Every no, single every person's single grandmother like is a terrible person. If you have a grandma, just she's a one. horrible person. Horrible. I wish I had the chance to kill my grandma, get rid Wait, of her. No, no, you no, 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 no. <laughs> Not all the grandmas, just one. No, I understand what you're saying, I Dan. I'm, I'm picking this up. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Uh, overhead at Grandma's now. No vehicles outside. This would have been a good case for us to take one of our VTOLs out. Where do you out. want me now? <laughs> for what kind of vehicle was it? It was a gray bison. Yeah, gray bison. And a blue vehicle. Oh, I, there's so much conflicting information, Nolan. Oh, for goodness sake, it's chaos. What are we going to do? We we're going to fly in the air really fast and cool. And we're going to look out for the vehicle. It's our responsibility to find who did this. We're going to do it. We can't let the bad guys get away. Look out for that bison, all right? All right, I'm looking out for it.
If you were yeah, a filthy crimer, where would you store that truck? Well, bisons are usually not owned or fake or they're, you know, somebody log takes it, so they probably just ditched it somewhere. What does the bi what does the bison look like anyways? A truck. Well, like the the truck you see around. Everybody drives them. Oh yeah, that's all oh, the big ones. Not really big, they're just normal truck size, you know? The huge, gigantic ones. No, it's just like a normal truck. They got like eight Very wheels, normal. like 50,000 pounds. No, no, 16, no, 16 person truck. capacity. Just a very the normal truck. Armored plating on the sides and then it's got a track. Just your everyday normal truck that you see. Got college kids and everybody. Exhaust on the top for submersible in case you, know, you need to go. Use chaw and drink Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. So basically a tank. I'll keep my eyes peeled. No. <laughs> Not a tank. Oh, just like a normal truck. Yeah, a normal why, truck. Why don't you just say so? That's so much I easier. Said that. Okay, well, I mean, sheesh. Now I'm looking for it, Dan. Just got to be more clear in the future. <laughs> I, I was pretty clear in the first place. Well, now look who's getting all bent out of shape. Someone's feeling defensive. Someone's shape. feeling defensive. Oh my, God, what's that? oh my God, what is that? Is that a bison? It was a tank. Open uh, no, fire. Bow, 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 bow. What happens if I press these buttons? Does it fire a rocket? It's Click this one no, here. What no, 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 does that no. do if that I press this? Do anything. Okay, well, it could have done something. I could have got him if you just taught me how. If you let me control okay, the what rocket I'll need pod. You to do yep. Is uh, get to the camera. Oh, okay. How do I do that? Just okay. So what? Do not flex your F muscle. You want to flex your E muscle. Okay. My E do muscle. The, whatever you do, yep. do not hit the F button on the dashboard. The, are you sure? Now you're kind of making do me want to press. Should I just touch it a little bit? Nope, you're kind of making, you're kind of making me think like now maybe I should just give it a little whirl. No. All right, hold on, I'm gonna give you a shot. The F button here on the console. Okay, Hit one second button. here. Let me see here. Uh, the, e, what, the E button doesn't a do anything. Horrifically painful death if you oh, hit that button. come on now. Where's your sense of adventure? The E I, button's I, not doing I, nothing. I, I have a sense of adventure. I don't have a sense of death though. Well, you know what they say. You can put a cat in the oven, but you can't call it biscuits. Why, why, why would you do that? Well, I'm just saying you could. I'm not saying you would. I'm just saying that it's an option. And I can't get into the camera. The E doesn't. The e, the e button doesn't do anything on the dashboard. Uh oh, you probably got to get it set up in the. Uh, the, 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 the oh, in, in the your, settings. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what it's called in the settings? TV helicopter camera, I think. <clears throat> Here, let me look. Let's see here. Heli. Did I get, oh, did I get it? Shoot, I thought I got it. I got it, hey, I got it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, easy pleasy, okay. And now you can use your mouse scroll button, like on, you know, those scrolls. Oh, yeah. Oh, my land. Well, now we're talking. Now it's now they don't stand a chance. Now you're cooking with chimpanzees. Now we're cooking with chimpanzees. You, what do you put chimpanzees in an oven for? I, I don't know. All right, well, hey, to each their it's own. A, it's a scene I heard back in the day, you know, back in the, back in the old days. Back, back in back in the old days when it was still legal to hunt the great apes. Yes. Okay. Are they still in this area, Dan? I don't think so. I think it's code four. I think we're code four everywhere. So code four, that is uh, that's police lingo for. Hey, everything's pretty much okay. Oh, okay, code four. Yeah. Solid copy. What's the difference between that and ten four? So 10-4 is like, okay. Like, yeah. Oh, you okay. Know? Whereas code and, four and is code like, four everything's is good. Like, everything's good. We're just, we're chilling. Oh, okay. I see. What's the code 69? What's that stand for? Uh, I don't think there is a code. Not yet, Dan. Not until we get back to the office. Hey, oh. All right. Let's go back to the office. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Patty Monster, thanks for the eight months. Uh, Heretic, you bet, thank I you for the you, seven. I've doing this today, sending they're taking notes, and then finding there once <laughs> uh, cops get shot. Ooh, ooh, Thulu, thanks for the two years. Yeah, I was hoping to see more of a shootout or something. Maybe I was going to be able to, to stick a thumb in one of your bullet wounds or something, save your life. 
Yeah, uh, did you know you can stick a tampon in a bullet wound? I can't, well, I mean, Dan, technically you can stick anything in a bullet wound if you want to. Jesus. So that's why it's good to carry tampons on you. It's not only for, you know, the lady friends, okay. but also because Jesus, you get Jesus, Dan, Jesus, listen, just because you can stick something into an open wound doesn't mean you should. Yeah, but, like, you should, I mean, tampons are literally used. Okay, well, next time I have some spare peanut M&Ms, I'll just put them in into my no, bullet wound, too. No, no, I understand. No, you You're just saying you if, you, if you're carrying something, might as well M &M. put it in your bullet wounds. No, I understand, Dan. I'm going to no, keep that in mind. No. Someone comes into the police station and they're shot. I'm going to, the first question is going to be, hey, do you have any peanut M&Ms or tampons? Perfect. Well, no. It's, you know, a tampon would work a lot better than your fucking thumb. How do you, how do you know that? You don't know that. You because don't even know that it would work more than, you don't even where, know that it would work better than, than peanut m &Ms. No, it, where you, is your thumb been? You, do you really want an answer to that? You really want an answer to that? Have you heard of prostate milking? It's like the G spot for men. It's like a little walnut sized gland that can be found by inserting a finger and brushing with a gentle come hither motion towards your belly button. Is that what you're getting at? <laughs> that, is that what you mean? Mr. Nolan, do you know what phase up means? What is that? Because <laughs> you're really making me want to phase up right now. I don't, you know, I'm not exactly sure what that means as a threat, but I'll, I'll assume it's something, uh, alarming what does that pretty mean? bad <laughs> what does that it's mean probably Chad? one of the worst things you can possibly do in this city oh really yeah to phase up in front of somebody pretty what? fucking horrible i don't understand this is uh, this is confusing for me see uh, as given i'm not around as often these sorts of things just slip right past me you know oh. <laughs> has that been a problem recently Hey, yeah, yeah, I did. It, really? ha it has been, yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Well. Yeah. <laughs> but milk in the prostate made me really want to try it. <laughs> well, now you know. Oh, my God. That's so Before gross. You know. Before you know there, Nolan. <laughs> oh, God, chat. You, could, you couldn't pay me to engage in that kind of drama. Yikes. <laughs> Get back to taking some notes. Ah, uh, sure. Did you say that? Did you say that you? <laughs> did I say you that did I won? A little a come it a come hither motion. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Insert a well lubed finger into your b hole, and then brush with a gentle come hither motion when you stroke the walnut sized gland found therein. <laughs> huh? Daniel, don't be afraid of your body, okay? I'm not. I'm not. There you go. Uh, just food just for a thought. Come, uh, come hither motion. A come hither really motion. Threw me off. Yeah, there, come exactly. hither. Exactly. Come hither motion. Bingo. You know, I've you know exactly what it means. About, like, don't you know what it means? Don't you? you? You can envision what I mean when I say that. I can envision exactly yep. what you mean. Bingo. <laughs> yes. B-I-N-G-O. 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 A thumb inside my b-hole. So when do I get my gun? Well, there's a little, there's a couple more steps to okay. have to be completed before that. Well, that makes sense. I feel pretty ready for it. I feel like I could hold down the fort in case there was a robber or someone coming in trying to stir up problems. I could say, hey, you better back off. You know? Have you ever shot a gun before that, Mr. Mr. Nolan? Of course I shot a lot of guns. This <laughs> one time, I shot a gun that was so big, it was like this, it was like a bazooka and I shot it and it was really loud and I wasn't scared. So yeah, of course I shot lots of guns. Is there anybody out there? No, there's nobody out there. Oh, that's okay. See, I, it's cause I already helped them all. This is what happens when you have GG Nolan as your front reception desk area, confidant worker employee. 
Can I can I interest you in a song? A song? Well, shoot! Say less and let's hear it. All right. Now this is a pretty great song. Hey, hey mm -hmm. there! Well, pal. well, hey. well. Who's this tall drink of water? This is uh, this is Deputy mm -hmm. Cole. Mm -hmm. Deputy Cole. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Deputy Colt Cole in my tea. hole. Oh, Colt. Okay. Yeah, well, Colt. Yeah. nice Colt. to meet you, Colt. Mr. Colt. Like, like the like the young male horse or the gun manufacturer. Young male horse. Think they just call that a small horse? <laughs> like a miniature horse on the right. <laughs> Hi, you're a real jokester, Colt. That's what I likes about you. Uh, it is what I likes about you. It is what I likes about okay. you. Um, uh, anyways, Dan was just explaining to me when I get my very own shotgun. He said tomorrow morning. No, no, I get I to did have that. that. You get to carry it I the front did desk. Not say anything about Can I that point it at whoever I want, or is the only people nope. that seem threatening? Nope, you don't get a gun yet. Okay, well, let's just put that attitude in the back pocket for now. It's just like when you said that I told you you can fly a V told never said that. He said it. He told me I could. Never did at all. Huh. He said, you know what the best part is of being a receptionist at uh, Mission Real PD? You get to fly your very own VTOL solo. Did not ever say that. He said you get to take it, and if you want, you can let a couple of the rocket pods go. Towards They're unarmed. The center, towards have the center no of town. armaments on them. That's what he said. He said, in fact, I'm going to work on getting you a miniaturized nuclear warhead, and you can choose the, the target of your choice, what he said. Did not say any of that. That's what that's precisely Jesus. that's that's not how I choose to remember it. Well, you choose to remember wrong. Holy shit, Dan, is your mouth right and a bunch of uh, checks your ass can't cash? What he no, said. No, I have no. He said no. He said today I get hired on by by uh Kyle Pred himself with a fifty thousand oh, dollar a week so you're salary. Go, you're going straight to the bay. Bob, is that what that means? The bay yeah, well, he's He's trying to become a dispatcher. Oh, a dispatcher. Well, yeah, yeah. not okay. one operator, emergency crisis counselor, you know, something in there. I That's mean, what I said. You as, don't. Why? As long as you're halfway decent on a radio, I don't give a damn. Why don't you try a oh, rehabilitative? Yeah, let's see. Hold on, Colt. Okay. I mean, not Colt. Nolan. I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Let's, sure. Let's hear you on the radio again. So let's say, uh, oh, this is a hard one. A okay. 1013 Alpha, which is an officer in distress. Okay. Off of Boulevard Del Perro. What would you tell officers? Uh, PD from dispatch. We have an officer in distress at the docks. Respond immediately, please. Thank okay. you. There you go. That's that's pretty that's pretty good, honestly. That's actually better than 90% of the PD. <laughs> I could do it. Easy pleasy. Lemon squeezy. And then I was thinking, why don't you try a rehabilitative program where if it's sometime you get a 911 call from someone who's feeling all hot and bothered, you can call down a crisis counselor like your buddy GG Nolan. I can just pop on down there. Wee, 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 wee. Hey, it's me, GG. How you doing? You know what I mean? That's pretty that good. Could work. It could work. Not to get you a name tag that doesn't say Tim, though. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping to get a name tag that doesn't say Tim. Bob Cat. I don't even work for Bob Cat. The heck does that mean? Yeah, so that's... Are you wearing it? Well, I didn't have another name tag, and the name tag makes it seem more professional. It does make you seem pretty professional. Gotta admit. Hey, as a quick side note, um, do you know if there's any places still open for selling food? I'm literally about to starve to death. Oh, here, uh, I got you. Oh! Yeah, we, we keep a stash. There's a sandwich. Around. Nice little sandwich for you. Oh, yeah, you want me to put your... takes care of us pretty good. You want me to put your Subway sandwich in my mouth here? <laughs> right, Shrugway. Hey, shrug yeah, Dan wants you to take all six inches of that sandwich. Ah. Oh. Well, six is a bit... Six is a bit of an over-exaggeration. Maybe more like four and a half. No, I... Ro I, I, I just say it's nothing to be ashamed about. Just maybe not... Uh, See? You all middle. you did was round it up. That's all you did. You just rounded it up. I'm av it's average today. We're good. Well, I feel like, uh, That's oh, right. what the fuck? What the fuck? What? What the fuck? What? What did you measure your arm? Ha! <laughs> ah, shoot. Okay. Why are you guys doing 20? That's, <laughs> wait. 
Okay, here's the real deal for your information. <laughs> okay. okay. You do. All right. I mean, well, I'll have you. You, you, both. you want me to give you a good measurement, don't you, Dan? Got to roll a twenty then. If you roll something less than a six, I'm walking out of this office. Oh, you're lucky. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All Listen, right. Well, I'm going to go back and stand there and wait for other people to come in so I can pass along messages. Uh, Dan, would you be able to text me the officer Jackie Snow's number so I can send yes, him the message course. from Let me give Nick you Quilina Quinn and Mr. Cole? Oh, yeah. Cole. Snow's going to love that. Mr. Faley tells me that you're going to be taking me on a solo... Ride along mission with me. Oh, uh, we're gonna be nope, never said that riding it's... along, just you and me. Uh, riding along in a car, like that. Dan. What, what the hell are you doing to me? <laughs> I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't made the month yet. <laughs> what the hell is hey, this? Just like that. Is that what you were thinking, huh? Uh, um, no, ride along, not, not even a little. You could teach me how to shoot. I don't gun. know, Cole. I think you'd oh be really, God. I think it would be really good to take him. Uh, it could really nope. expand uh, if, the soul. You know what, Dan? If uh, if I was at the 30 days, then I would absolutely do that. It's already, what, it's been like 29 and a half or something like uh, that? What's no, the 30 it's days? it's been like three. Uh, wait, what? So how fucking long has it been? Has it actually it's been, been longer a than a month? Has it? What's the 30 <laughs> days? It's been longer than a month. I don't remember. What 30? Was, what we're saying is uh, he was, when he was promoted to full officer. Or ah! Oh, you got promoted yeah. to full officer. Well, shoot. Yeah. Fancy so, dancy. We uh, are so. Uh, a full deputy is authorized, if I remember right. A full deputy is authorized to take a civilian ride along, but I have to be at 30 days, right? Right. When do I get When do I get to be a full officer? Well, you have to be hired first. Yeah. Oh. It took me like six months. Well, it took me two well. years to get hired and then six months to make full deputy. Well, I think we can probably shorten it there. I imagine by the weekend, I'll probably be set up and have a badge. Well, I did email you the application for a dispatch. Oh, well, there you go. See, look at that. Shoot. Isn't that straightforward? Word? Okay, well, I guess I should. So I have to fill that out is what you're saying, Dan? I got to yeah, do a bunch more paperwork. It, you know, make sure it's private. Oh, for goodness sake. For goodness sake. Okay, well, um, I guess I'll go fill that out. The hospital's making some pretty strong uh, offers, though. They're making it sound like they could use a receptionist up there, Dan. You know who else might be good for Gigi to ride with, Dan? Well, who's that? Copper. Oh, she sounds like a peach. Copper would do yes. Is, is he single? She. Oh, and no. Okay, well, that's all right. That's fine. Uh, yeah, why don't you call her on down? Let's do a ride along. Uh, she's she's right. She's with uh, she's with Highwayman right now, so they're probably. Oh busy. my lord! Should we save her? Oh, not like robbers, you mean? No, Highwayman oh, is yeah. a deputy. Oh, okay. Well, it meant something else back in the day. I've seen Game of Thrones. I know how it works. Now, Highwayman stops you on the highway for speed and writes you tickets. Or lots of tickets. Or Brianna Tarth pushes her entire sword inside of you. No, that's what Copper does when Highwayman pulls you over. Oh, okay. Well, shoot. All right, then you can take me on a ride along, and I'll just shoot your gun instead. What? No, you're not going to shoot my gun. I don't even shoot my gun. I hate shooting my gun. Well, he really shoots. with that attitude, I mean, shoot. Okay, well, fine. Listen, you change your mind, you just let me know, okay? What, about letting you shoot my gun? Yeah. All right, if I change my mind, you'll be the first to know. Okay, perfect. All right, well, Dan, I'm going to go ahead and take down some notes, and you just go ahead and text me uh, that number of Mr. Jackie Snow so I can send on that note, okay? Uh, yeah, you know, go fill out that application real quick, or yeah, you can do it later on you when finish, you're at home. You finish your application, Daniel. I swear the attitude of some young men in this city, unbelievable. Huh. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Hey, pointless casserole. Thanks for the 44 months. True story. My 10, my daughter, 10 years old, has a new friend at school and I have a for, I have forbidden her from hanging out with her. Why, you ask? Why is this friend so horrible? Her name is Kiki. Oh my God. You have a friend named Kiki IRL? That's fucking amazing. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> I thought he wasn't doing face cam. I'll do a goddamn face cam whenever I want. Don't you forget it. Um, Walker TX1, thanks for the eight months, Walker. Colonel Colonel Hazard, thanks for the two months, GG Nolan, the BB King edition. <laughs> Melton T Pig, thanks for the four years, my amigo. Uh, Hybrid Aries, thanks for the 11 months. Milton T fucking pig, dude. Can you believe that? Four years? Milton T pig, what, what do you think the year will be when we meet up at another convention? 2026? 2036? When will it be? Grim Boodle, thanks for the seven months, my friend. Colonel Crunch, thank you for the eight months. Birdman Jenkins, thank you for the 15. Anime Chick, thanks for the 33, dude. Uh, Cup of Shut the Fuck Up, thanks for the 22 months. Damnation, thanks for the 22 as well. Senvar, 22 months indeed. Fuzzy Kittens, 23 months. Thanks, Milton. I'm still waiting on child support, though. Love you, chat. And the streamer, I guess. What the fuck? 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 Hey, Fuzzy Kittens, thanks. Navitz, thanks for the 21 months. Almost two years ago, I first heard uh, Kiki was going on a smoothie cleanse and she described what came out of her body in great detail. Best worst day of my life. That does sound exactly like Kiki Chanel, let's be honest. Sam92, thanks for the three months. Um, and great Scott, thank you for the the uh, the ten months of support, dude. Okay, we're gonna go and get some food and water. Oh shit, they're still in there. Okay, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait until they're no longer watching, and then we're gonna go get some food and water. We're gonna take our first. Uh oh. So, Mr. Nolan. Yeah, of course, Mr. Mr. Daly. What can I do for you? Did you see how I said, like, sometimes this job is just kind of standing around here? Now, when you have the radio, obviously, you're going to be doing a lot more. Right. But when you're just, like, with, until you get the radio, it is kind of quiet here. Sure. That's okay. I don't need, I don't need nothing that exciting. I'm, I'm perfectly happy just holding it down here, being a friendly face in case someone's having a bit of a downer of a day. Um, where, do you think... Do you think uh, Raymond Jaspers would uh, be good to bring? Where is Raymond? I never met a Raymond Jaspers before. How the heck am I supposed to know? He's uh, he's one of our dispatchers. He's actually very, very good. Oh, well, how about oh. that? Is Raymond the one working right now? Yeah, he's working he's right now. He's probably upstairs. Should I go grab him? Mm, Meet okay. Nolan? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Raymond Jaspers is a... Uh, He's, a, he's, an old, he's an old dispatcher. I think he was a cop back in the day. Oh, well, shoot. Sounds like someone I could be friends with. I'll tell you what. Once a 911 call comes in, I'll give you that person's phone number, and you can call them up and be like, hey, 911, what's your emergency? Tell me what's going on. Oh, see, that would work really well. Look at that. We've even got a little system worked out here. Yeah, we'll, see how the, we'll see how you do taking a 911 call. Very easily, I imagine. I don't wait for it to come in. So, you know, it's like, I, I asked you what, like, what, what you wanted to do. What, what made you consider dispatch? Well, you know, I just think of myself as a bit of a people person. And my mom always said it's just because I'm so sweet. She said it's so you, sweet. It's like I was in, uh, picked up by my ankles people. and dipped you in a bowl dipped of people. In the blood when of I people. Was yep. <laughs> exactly what I was growing up. Dipped into their lamenting woes. And, I, and here I am, just sweet as a button. Yeah. And I just thought to myself, how could I make most use of my desire to talk to people, be friends with them? And I thought, hey. Dispatch seems like a great idea. Meet people, talk to them, learn about all sorts of interesting problems they got. Now, and I'm not going to sugarcoat. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. Okay. You would probably have more interaction with people at the hospital. That's okay. Who says I can't work both? No one said I can't work both. That's I can true. Work no, both. Not a single person said you can't work both. Can I work both, Daniel? <laughs> I mean, I don't see why that would be a problem. See? So don't you worry a little hard about it. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. Good. See? Easy. I'm gonna Are worry you going to come and visit me when I'm working in the hospital, Dan? I'm sure you'll see me there plenty of times when I'm shot over and over again because I made some criminal upsetty spaghetti. Are you going to bring me coffee sometimes, Dan? Oh, there he is. Uh-oh. Oh, wait! 
Oh. Hey, come back here, Raymond. Come back here. I want to tell you what I want for Christmas. <laughs> what is that? That's not. It's not just a little joke. Just a. Uh -oh. Hey, your name is Francis. Did you say? Travis? No, it's Jasper's. Ja it's, it's, Jasper. I literally have a name tag. Oh, hold on, Jasper. Is your name J Jasper? No, it's Raymond Jaspers. Raymond, Raymond Jaspers. I well, I would love to pick your brain, Mr. Jaspers. Oh, uh, what? What can you pick my brain about, Mr. Tim? Oh, okay. The name. All right. Listen, I understand the confusion. The name tag says Tim. It's not actually my name. I would like to study your ways. I want to be your protege. I want to. I want you. I want to be your Padawan. You could be my Obi Wan Kenobi. You could teach me in the desert how to play with your sword. You yeah, let him play, play with, with your sword. sword. Yeah, let me play with your sword. Teach me how to play with your sword in the desert, Jaspers. Oh, we call that shower jousting. Shower jousting. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I wanted to. I wanted to just maybe pick your brain. What you think about the security of this establishment? Any tips for being a dispatch man? See, I thought maybe I could. I could sign up, and we could be like buddies, and I could like be your backup if you needed it. I want to step on your toes, Mr. Jaspers. I want to help you. I want to help you to make this PD the best GDPD it can be. Oh, well, I'll tell you the, the number one thing we need assistance with is with administrative assistants who are kind of like the sidekicks to dispatchers. You need help with your side with the administrative assistants? Oh, extremely. It's one of the most important positions in this police department so you that want gets me highly to, neglected. You want me to manage them, like yell at them and make sure they're doing their work. Like, hey, you better get that paperwork done for Jaspers or I'm going to take you out back and fit the garden hose down your throat. Well, that is one part that can be done, but mostly it's going to be the welcoming face that enjoy that is the face of the police department oh. as citizens come in to file their reports and you know yell at you and you have to keep a clean smile on there while you're basically slapping them in the face with kindness oh well shoot about that's, how dumb they're reporting that's practically my specialty mr jaspers shoot you know my mom always said i was so sweet she always said i was such a people person you know why why is that because she says that when i was born i was dipped by my ankles into a bowl of people and that's why i'm such a people person into a bowl of people it's not like ground up no not people no ways with people thinking i'm talking about blended up people i'm not talking about. it's an expression jesus jaspers what have you seen while working here a lot <laughs> my a lot, god yeah. okay well mr jaspers would you be willing to give me sort of a a, a, a tour as it applies specifically to dispatch mr Faley was kind enough to show me my own personal veto which he's gonna let me fly later on my own but i haven't really seen the lay of the I land not, as it applies all. to how dispatch officers would see it you know what i'm saying <laughs> right unfortunately i don't have the ability to, to authorize anything like that i'm actually returning new back to dispatch myself i retired many years ago but oh, you well, know the you uh, pension back? fund ranger I, oh. well i retired from los santos sheriff's office and they oh. disbanded that in favor of blaine county sheriff's office and so with nothing coming in it means nothing going out pension fund ranger i here i am working all over again well shoot well i'm sorry to hear that you're back on the grind but the good news is you got yourself a brand new BFF of Mark! That's your body, GG! Yay! Yay. She, yeah, <laughs> best, best friend! Yeah! See? Everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna show you. We're gonna work it all out, Mr. Jaspers. <laughs> Yay! Hey, Simon, do you have the ability to bring him on as an administrative assistant? No, I don't. I'm like I said, I'm still freshly returning as a dispatcher myself, so they haven't really trusted me with any fun things, especially because you know my old. Well, I would was trust you with my life. And... If I was choking to death, if I was just choking, yep. just choking. Just, oh God, he's choking! Just, oh no, choking. I'm, I'm eating a strip loin steak. I'm choking on this steak. Oh, oh God. It's just so much meat. I would it's trust so much meat. I, I, would, choking. I would trust you, Jaspers, to give me the Heimlich. Okay? 
Oh, of course. So I just want you to know, while they may not necessarily trust you with those responsibles yet, I, Jesus Christ, Daniel, is what it coffee delicious. and a show? Uh, yeah, I, I would trust you, Raymond, and I think we're going to be fast friends. You and I are going to get a lot of work done around here. For one to two sure hours every so. two weeks. For, for what? Approximately every two weeks for one to two hours at a time. It's going to be great. We're going to have a great working relationship. Yeah, that's actually my favorite kind of working relationship. <laughs> where I can screw up and say something dumb and I don't have to look at you for a couple weeks. Oh, see, there we go. Well, that is definitely how it's going to be. It's going to be you making the mistakes and me not making any because I don't make mistakes. I make winning decisions. I never make a mistake. Mm. I either make the right decision or I walk away because it's unfair. So. I make a lot of mistakes. Well, not anymore. You don't. Now you got Gigi. Gigi's got your back, Raymond. And it's not my first time working with a 78-year-old man, neither. I used to help my grandfather out at the old folks' home. I'm really familiar with all your sorts of needs and hang-ups and medicines and those difficult heart, difficult spots to reach when you got the sponge bath and the shower and you need someone to be there with the de-lousing powder and stuff. I know all about that. Oh, yeah, they're definitely the hard to reach ones. I got that one <laughs> pill that goes up in the yeehaw, and oh, I tell you, that oh, one's a rough one to get oh, to sometimes. Oh, boy. Oh, yep. A suppository. Yep. I've yeah, heard. Sometimes you just gotta. Did you. Did, do you come hither with the, the pill? No, that's yeah. not. Oh, no, they give you a deplicator for it. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. My bad. <laughs> no, my buddy. Yeah, Nolan was telling no, me how you, you, an you stick for the, the no, pill no, and then you... that's not... No, I didn't <laughs> tell him. Listen, no. Damn it, damn it, Jaspers, no! Don't listen to him! It's not... Don't listen to Mr. Failey, okay? It's a different so thing. So there's a glad. No. <laughs> Don't <laughs> listen glad. to him, Jaspers! God! Jaspers, <laughs> cover your ears! Walk away, Jaspers! Did you come in there? Well, you, you think it's not something I haven't heard of in my years growing oh, up. You know, God. everybody likes to think we were the very, very moderate conservative group, you know, age group growing up. But I'll tell you, it was all just because we know how to keep it. Wait, so you were secret. sticking up no. with your ass too? Oh, Lord, Daniel, Jesus. Of course we did. We just oh. don't post it up on social media or in the newspaper or nothing. Every time we do it, we oh, my know how to Lord. close our damn traps. Oh, my just Lord. like we know how to close our damn cheeks. Oh. Oh my really lord! Around a good dice throw. Oh my lord! I wanna be sick! Daniel! Did you do something? Hey, listen, here? he No, listen, if he's had a pucker factor five right now, you know that's just uh what he's talking about. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, Jasper, Ever been Jesus. been at Pucker Factor 5 there, Nolan? No, listen, okay, you don't want to know nothing about my pucker you've never factors. Had, you've never had a bullet whip past your head okay. and it's like <laughs> Okay, so your underwear kind of go up there too. You're like, uh, all right, listen here. Now, if you're really going to ask, I, in fact, subscribe to the 16 week bowl of bussy stretch program so that I got a pucker factor of 10. I could snap a piece of rebar Holy. off in there, okay? Oh my God. That's right. All right. I'm, 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 I'm working my way to, to bussy, bussy blockage bowl of power of 16 where I can actually create cold fusion between my cheeks. Oh my God! So I'm not familiar with that measurement ratio. We just use nuts. And oh! yeah, peanuts, pistachios, pecans. I got up to pecan stage. Oh, myself. what's going on? Oh, hey, how are you? Shout outside. What a welcome change. Well, subject. We're talking about shoving nuts. Oh, no, up we're not talking about shoving nuts up our. Oh my Lord, sir, are you all right? I definitely was talking about shoving nuts in my butt. That's oh, how we open the bracket. For goodness' sake, Jay. Listen, we're gonna have a discussion about that, Jamin. I'm calling you that from now on, okay? Because your name is Jaspers and your first name is Raymond. I'm going to call you Jay from now on, okay? It's your nickname. It's like your little work nickname, just between us. You can call me whatever you want. My name's G.G. Nolan, but if you want to call me Helicopter Dick or Captain Fantastic or something, you can do that too. I'll call you Jay. You call me whatever you want. Why, why Helicopter Dick? Well, there was this one time, okay, I was in college, I was drunk, it was frost week, the engineering students were getting a little crazy. Next thing I know, week? I feel that it was frost week. You never heard of frost week? I don't know what it stands is for. Is that the thing you get at 7-Eleven that's like Coca-Cola? No, frost is the is the foamy mixture of semen oh, no. and feces that I... collects at the base of the, sorry, what is it, Jaspers? Uh 
Uh, I have to cut this short. I apologize. Oh. I actually have a uh, previous appointment I need to attend to, like, immediately. Oh, well, Mr. Jaspers, you make sure to come back soon sometime. We'll get to know each other, okay? Absolutely, Mr. Tim. I'm just going to call you Tim. <laughs> okay, you call me badge. Tim. I'll call you Jay. Easy. There you go. <laughs> All right. You take care now. All right. Bye, bye, bye Jaspers. Well, he was nice. Yeah, that was yeah. nice. They're not the chance to get to meet I him. I didn't want to know about him shoving nuts up his asshole, but... No, that was... You know, I was kind of hoping you know. it was going to stop. The more detail that I got, the less happy I was about it, too. Let me tell you what. The more you know. It's like a rainbow came across and shined its light on us. <laughs> Wait, rainbows don't really produce light. What? Well, who's Listen. that little ray of sunshine there? Hi. Hey, what's that? Oh, hey, Angel. What's well, that, this is Dan. Hello, my name's Gigi Nolan. I'm here to try out to be the new receptionist dispatcher, and Dan here is running me through the basics. He told me that I get to fly my very own VTOL solo. I never at the said end that, Angel. Did not say he that. He said at I get all. to buzz the towers Wait, of the really? military base and possibly Did lose one of the rocket pods. Any of that? I said he was. Could possibly he get he's... hired to stand here and take notes. <laughs> he says he's going to teach me how to tandem base jump. <laughs> Dan, did you really say all that stuff? He said, yeah, no, ma'am, I like did that. not. He said, tonight, I did not he say said, any of that. He said, after my shift tonight, he's going to bring me down to the gun range and teach me how to shoot a shotgun with my eyes closed. I did not say any of that. <laughs> Never happened. Not a singular word. <laughs> then he said, we were going to get drunk and take his patrol car out later to not get some brute. No, keys. we did not, Angel. Like, I did not say awesome. any of that. I he swear said, to you, we're, I we're did gonna not We're going to go get hammered downtown. We're going to go to the vanilla unicorn and see if someone get one of the strippers to play with his not What the hell, Dan? Angel, I promise you, I didn't say any of that. <laughs> well, why? That seems really awfully specific. Uh, that's like, what I think. Just make it Does up? Does that seem like something that I would just make yes. up? <gasps> yes, it is. <laughs> wow, what? wow. This yeah, shows a real is. lack of trust in your dispatch. That is a real disappointment, well, Mr. No, Failure. No, listen here. I did not say any of that at all. Oh, is he raising right. his voice at you, Angel? Do you want no, me to handle talking to you? Me. Oh, for oh, goodness sake. I thought, uh, I thought I was the captain here. Oh, yeah. I'm, talking so, to, I'm talking to him. So Angel, hold not on. you, Captain. I've got, a, I've, got a, I've got a crossword over here. 12 letters down. Another word for being rude to your superior. Oh, insubordination. No, that's, that's a, not what I was talking to you. I was talking to you, not Angel. The word. That Angel, was the ma'am, one. I would never disrespect <laughs> you at all, ever. <laughs> Anyways, Never. Miss Angel, it, oh, well, look at this. Now he's just monkeying around. Miss Angel, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. If you need anything, and I mean anything, you don't hesitate to call your friend Gigi Nolan, okay? Do you have any food? I am fat, Evan, in need of food and water, or I may die. So, unfortunately, yeah, me too. when I said I, anything, I meant anything other than food or water. I have neither oh. of those, or a weapon. <laughs> I'm also not very good on trapeze. So well, if you need something I mean, for trapeze, I can like, do my best. Sounds like you can't really help me then. Oh. Um, oh, okay. That's a, okay. That's oh. a cute okay. thing, okay? You're yeah. going to fit in perfectly uh -huh. here, though. Uh, you're going to be a great dispatcher and receptionist, say. Eh? Oh, okay. That's just what I sure, can say. Just make sure that you disrespect Dan every time you see him, okay? What? No! Oh. That's okay. That's that's an easy one after what he was saying about all of his coworkers. It's gonna be easy to. What the? Fuck? I never said it, Angel. I never said anything about Thankfully, anybody. He gave me his notepad before he started saying it, so I got, I wrote it all down what he said. I can show you later if you'd like. <laughs> I didn't say yeah, I didn't know Actually, that, I Angel. Let me because let me say that that thing about you and Pred. I ha I would have had no idea unless he told me. That was crazy. Wait, what? You two still I work said for that us. Fred loves you Same very much. Is insane. I love you. He loves you very, very much. And it happened on Christmas Eve? I don't even know how many what? towels that would have taken. That's crazy. What did you tell him, Dan? <laughs> I didn't say anything, ma'am. It's rude did to kiss him. Did you tell him about tell. the sex police <laughs> Not yet. That's, I was saving that for later. <laughs> don't tell him about the sex police yeah, Yes, ma'am. I won't. Well, she's your boss? Yeah. Wow. What the fuck was that? You were going to give me in so much you trouble. Listen, I'm, I'm extending here. an olive branch of grapes to you That's, and your butthole, and are, you are sitting here fucking me. What? what why, yes. are there, why are there grapes go, growing on an olive branch? No, I, I don't really know, confusing. I'm trying to help you out I'm here, not a and you are going to get me into a lot no. of trouble. Listen, Dan, we're undercover, okay? Did it ever occur to you that maybe what there's, do you someone, mean? there's someone on the inside, Daniel? Listen, you, you don't have to that. you don't have to worry your heart about it. You're okay, because Jasper and I are gonna take care of it ourselves. We're gonna get to the bottom of it. 
something's been going Jasper on. Jasper just met you. Yeah, Jasper just met me, and he and I are going to become fast friends as dispatch officers, and uh, we're going to work together to solve crimes. What aren't you understanding? It's straightforward. No, dispatchers don't solve crimes. They yeah, just take the boring crime ones stuff. don't. The boring ones don't solve it. The exciting ones solve interdepartmental crime Jasper on the side. Is very boring. He that's is the most boring one. That's, well, all he needs is a little GG to put some pep in his step. Okay? He's come out of retirement. I'm going to get him into Windsor Pilates. We're going to start taking a stretch class together and going and making pottery. You're going to make pottery together? We're going to make pottery together. I mean, that doesn't seem that bad. Seems doesn't sound so bad, does it? Doing some pottery. Oh. Then one thing you know it. Next thing you know, he's going to be calling me up at 11 p.m. Uh, hey, uh, Gigi. I was wondering if you wanted to uh, come over and uh, work on my muscle car. And it's going to be one thing. Next thing you know, I'm over there. Uh, Raymond Jasper. Uh, uh, yeah. Raymond uh, Jasper. Actually, I was just making a meatloaf uh, in a uh, delicious time and wine reduction sauce. I'm a now. And, find uh, that it works better if I paint my fence yeah, twice in the spring uh, and summer. Yeah, just got to... Uh, Notice that the uh, uh, rerun uh, of my... Matlock that was on the other night, and I, uh, and I uh, realized I that I could predict the crime Got before it was uh, even committed. Uh, uh, Got to record a uh, mash right now. Sure my mash is turn my favorite on TV my show. And, uh, PVR. Get that yeah, rerun. Gotta, Judge Judy comes on at seven, but that's when I take my after dinner pills. <laughs> Not what that's for. That's for a very specific context, Daniel. I thought he was coming hithering with the pit. Well, oh, he's going to be coming everywhere if you keep on recommending the gland technique, okay? Hey, <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. All right, now, do you have any other tips that you can recommend? Anything else? Any other tools of the trade? Ticks, <sighs> tips, tricks of the trade that you can recommend me? Um, not, not really well it seems pretty straightforward dan i think i'm gonna be yeah. okay really you just take you take reports yeah talk on the radio yep um that's pretty much the the gist of it honestly oh hey there colt oh put hey. your damn hands up put your hands up put them up oh put them up hands up too oh up no too. oh shit what are you gonna do about this what are you gonna do about this gg what are you gonna do about it what are you gonna do about it what are you gonna do about this what are you gonna do about this? What are you gonna do? Point to something in this office. I'll fuck you. I'll have sex with whatever you want. You point to something in this office. I'll have sex in it. You want me to have sex with this it's a pair of scissors G -G, over I here? The hole's kind of big enough. I guess I can put something in there. Oh, oh Lord! Yep. What Bang. happened to Oh! Oh! Oh no! I gotta what are you gonna do now? Oh, my ABCs, airway, breathing, right. and careway. I gotta stick my. Oh, hold on. Do you have any peanut M and M's? Do you have any peanut M and M's? Daniel told uh, me that I'm the not, best way to treat a gunshot wound is by pouring right now, Gigi. a pa a pa Ah, shoot! I'm not here right now, Gigi. Okay, what are you doing? Hold on, hold on. What are you gotta, doing? I gotta search the. I gotta put some M and M's in the gunshot wound. He said, "Do you have a tampon?" I have a tampon. Hold on, I don't have. A, I don't have a tampon. I've got a handkerchief. Oh god, but my nose is getting kind of snotty. Hold on. What else do you need to be doing right now, Gigi? Anything else you could possibly think of? Hold on. Oh. <laughs> 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 Okay, I'm gonna stick this in the gunshot wound now. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, don't and, uh, rub that on me! On, now oh. I'll wow. be calling. Wow, I'll be calling someone. I'll be calling. I'll be calling. Oh shoot! I'll be what calling. No, I'll be calling. Oh, I'll be calling. My Raymond. fist is disgusting. I'll be now. calling Jay. I'll be calling Jay to get down here quickly because we got someone oh, shot. God, no, it's hold ruined. on. I would call 911. I'd call the police. Wait, but I am the police. I'd call myself and leave no, a message for myself. You are not the myself. police. Not the police. I am the police, and I would hire myself to investigate. Crime solved. Shotgun in my trunk. Boom. Boom, handcuffs, got the criminal in the back, take him down to the docks, boom, one shot back of the head, over the rail into the water. How'd I do? Yeah. Um actually uh surprisingly that. enough, you, yeah, you did was... exactly what uh, look would you look, who the fuck check the footage? <laughs> oh, it's all right there. Yeah, he did <laughs> that in my hand. He did Go that take somebody down to the docks, put two in the back of the head. It's all right here. Pop them in the fucking water. Yeah, How do you know that shit? Just really Okay, man. Well, <clears throat> anyhow. Uh, okay. Is, would, any other recommendations, Mr. Colt? 
if I if a person causes a gunshot wound to me or a co-worker. Oh, don't wipe a no. dirty Kleenex on their vest. Yeah, don't wipe wait, a dirty well, Kleenex, no, what are you okay? gonna do with the gun after you shoot him in the back of the head twice? Oh, you uh you take out a microfiber cloth and you wipe it down for fingerprints and then you throw it over the rail too. And then you go back to the office and you report it as an inexplicable uh stock inventory error and that that gun didn't actually exist to begin with. Well, I think you got to hire him right now. <laughs> I don't have the ability to. You see, that's wood. what I was saying. Shoot. I think, you, I think he's basically done everything he's supposed to do according to the checklists that were written <laughs> by who wrote these checklists. See, I'm a shoe in. We're going to reshape uh, this entire office with the help of G.G. Nolan. The name hmm. should be at the top there. Yeah. Uh, these, oh, these were, these checklists were written by, um, most of command. In fact, it's easier to tell you who isn't, who, who who didn't have a hand in writing this than basically everybody above the level of sergeant. This this is all them, 100%. Yep, every single one of them. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. if you just wanted to promote me to sergeant right off the hop, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too insulted. I'd not take that. I'd say, yes, sir, sign me up. I don't think we can do that. Probably well, why not? What do you mean you can't do that? It's just, listen, you got to work up the chain. Well, oh, that's what I feel like I'm doing, aren't I? Shoot. I mean, I got into a helicopter. I'm going to be flying my first VTOL today. You're not flying a VTOL today. Okay, well, we'll just put that in the back pocket. No need to decide on in it right now. In the very far back pocket, maybe like a year or seven away. We'll see. Maybe we'll do it at 11 p.m. You get a couple of wobbly pops into you. You know, we swap a couple war stories. And the next thing you know, we're in the VTOL beer Sambuca. Back to my hotel. More beers. War stories. Shots. War <laughs> stories. Yeah, what war stories more, do you have? War uh, stories I have, for I, I have Dan all. Bailey, he's, I, got, he's got the Canadian national haircut. There's no what? way he's got war stories. What do you mean the Canadian national haircut? There's nothing wrong that with is his true. haircut. In fact, that's, he looks that's very full sharp. Beebs. That's not that's full, full no, beebs. That's not the full beebs. In fact, his haircut looks very sharp. Daniel, have I complimented you on your excellent haircut lately? Because he it looks very his, handsome. His uncle Milton had the the same haircut. It's not the full beeb. It's called really? the, the full hey, handsome. Yeah. Hey, Gigi, where's your where's your uncle Milton from? Arizona. Arizona. Yep. Okay. Well, there you go. From Del well, there you go. From you know Del what? Maybe, Daytona, maybe I'm wrong. About Daytona, Arizona. Day Daytona, Arizona. Yep. He works for the a small town. He's a part. He's on the baseball team, the Seattle Swans. And the first. Uh, hey, starting have you ever heard the song Florida. Alberta Downs? Alberta. <clears throat> Alberta. Alberta Downs. I don't think I heard yeah. Alberta Downs. Why? I'm just checking. Oh, good song. Oh, Gordon Lightfoot song. Gordon Lightfoot. What do you think about Gordon Lightfoot? Gordon Lightfoot. I never heard of Gordon Lightfoot before. Who is that? Is he? Does he? Uh, is he a Pilates instructor? Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, do we have someone? I just. Who is that? That was running away. Damn it! I thought we almost had one. Yeah, I thought we had one too. We almost Cat had Man one Do. online. Catman Do. What? Yeah. What about Catman Don't? <laughs> and did you see his cat ears? <laughs> So when Apparently. do I pull in my first paycheck, just out of curiosity? Uh, well, have you signed your W-2 yet? Uh, uh, may, per, perhaps. What Did does you that pay look taxes? Like? Pay tax. Uh, pay tax. I, I, I think so. I'm pretty sure. Did you get? Did you pay your taxes? Oh, would you look at the time? I guess that's my break now. I'll, I'll be back. I got to go and get from a break to get water. And not because I didn't fill out any tax inform information there. Okay. All right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hello. I'm sure you're all wondering why I've gathered you here today. And the reason that I've gathered you here is to announce my proud acceptance. And it is with great honor that I accept this promotion to chief of police. 
I believe that together we will forge a safe Los Santos, a brave Los Santos, and a secure Los Santos. I am Gigi Nolan, and I am your chief of police. I am your district attorney. Yes, sir. What do you think about having a press secretary? <laughs> oh. I actually like that a lot. Yeah. Actually, the whole government can use a press secretary. No. Somebody that just speaks for the, the government. Yeah. Well, wouldn't, that the, wouldn't the current state mayor have to decide who their press secretary is? I mean, yeah, but we could probably just go there and be like, hey, we found your press secretary. Is she available? I don't know. Deputy Mayor Ricardo Perez is the team. Hey, no, Nolan, what do you think about being a press secretary? Oh, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm too ready for all that kind of public speaking. Let me see if I can just give it a whirl here. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here today. It is important to understand that the unified message of the Los Santos Police Department is the requirement of change in outlook, change in tactics, and change in missions by both this government and its peoples, by every businessman, by every labor leader, and every newspaper. We are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covert means for expanding its sphere of influence. Uh, for expanding Nolan, on infiltration Nolan. instead of invasion. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Mr. Nolan, how, yes. how does the uh, mayor respond to allegations that the Senate is full of shit? The uh, mayor responds by informing the public that every democracy recognizes the necessary restraints of national security. And the question remains whether those restraints need to be more strictly observed. I duly take your concerns uh, to note and, and rest assured that the mayor is giving this his absolute and undivided attention. And a uh, follow-up to that, how does the mayor respond to allegations that he was seen uh, uh, street racing yet again and also helping three different bank robberies? Well, you see, now those reports come from our city's newspapers. And while this city's fine press... No, Mr. Nolan, those, those reports come from the police. Well, the police, the newspapers, wherever they came from, we can't be sure at this point. The, the, the printers of those stories are loyal, patriotic, responsible, and well-meaning members of our public. Had we been engaged in open conflict with any groups around the city, they would undoubtedly not have published such items. But in the absence of open warfare, when things are more covert, they recognize only the tests of journalism and not the tests of national security to which our fine mayor must also pay close attention. Attention. Does that answer your question? Yeah, yes, it does. Uh, <laughs> I have an unrelated question. Uh, if you don't mind taking one more from the Los Santos Daily. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, of course. Go ahead with your question. All right. Uh, yeah, once again, this is a uh, uh, Michael Colt LSD. Uh, <clears throat> so, how does the uh, what does the mayor intend to do about the fact that uh, that uh, Kyle Pred has uh, taken the bay and and has actually caused all of the deputies to dig a trench uh, along. Uh, San and uh, along Great Ocean Highway and uh, in the freeway there, in order to, and I quote, separate the bay from all of these cocksucking bullshit having assholes. Well, that's a very fine question, Mr. Colt. And I would say that I personally believe that this is a call to arms for every citizen in Los Santos to weigh his or her own rights and comforts against their obligations to the common good. I mean, I cannot believe that anyone who would complain about these things who serve in any sort of business overseen by a committee of Los Santos would consider themselves exempt from the appeal of the beautification of our city. I have no intention of establishing a new office of beautification information to govern the flow of this kind of news. And as such, I cannot be asked to comment with any level of detail. However, I can assure you that any and all members of Kyle Pred's beautification team are doing so with full and enthusiastic acceptance of their lot in life. You know, he just talked for Called five minutes and didn't say a goddamn thing. <laughs> I know. That's really good. He's so good. He's so good at this. I feel like I was a born natural. All right. I felt like yeah, you we... just told me a lot of things without telling me anything. That's yeah, the key of being a press secretary. 
you told me you told you said a lot of words that I had to write down. You didn't say a goddamn thing. So now the papers are going to try and print that and spin it. They got nothing to spin. Bingo. See, I'm telling you, I'm available. I'm available for hire as your press secretary if you would like. We need to get him in front of the mayor. We need, yeah, 100%. And, and probably Fred and Bass. Fred, Bass. Uh, where's this Tredi on duty? Oh, and Tredi. Can't forget. Yeah, we got to get in front of Tredi and get hired on as press secretary. I'm available. I'll give you my phone number. Here it is. You write that down. And I also have the Discordian app, so you can always find me on there if you need a statement to be read out by the by the press secretary. That is astounding. Like, especially with what's going on up in Sandy, it might be great to have a press secretary. I agree. 100%. At your behest, uh, you could even, why not, why not? You know, you don't even have to say, you don't even have to confirm right now. What you could do is get get a situation in the city that you would like for a statement to be made by a press secretary, and I will present you with a video. You don't even have to do nothing. I could give it to you, and you could pass it around to all your buddies and have them evaluate it and see what they think. I would be happy to do that for you. I would be more than happy to fulfill my civic duty by acting as the press secretary, but I would not expect you to do something like that without being able to test first whether or not I can put my money where my mouth is. Press secretary is a six-figure job. Is it really? I think we're pretty fucking smart, honestly. Yeah, pretty fucking smart right now. I think we're, this is going to get us a promotion. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, it won't get me shit. I guarantee you that. You probably, fucking I'm darling be, boy with your goddamn Justin Bieber haircut. It's not Justin Bieber haircut. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? I I'm sorry I couldn't that overhear that you really. talking about that haircut. I just wanted to remind you again, Mr. Faley, of how sharp you look with that haircut. Very oh, impressive. You, Nolan. Very hey, impressive. You, Nolan. Dan, Dan, I got I to gotta share something with you later. I got to share something with you. Okay. okay. You're going to actually, you know what? I'm going to share it with you right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, Nolan, let's, uh, let's record something. Well, not right now, silly goose. I mean, get get a story on something that's happening in the city, and I'll come back and film it. I'll come back. I we have a story right now for you. What do you mean you have a story right now? The Sandy, so there's a uh, the lost up in Sandy have created the People's Republic of Sandy Shores, and we went to war with them yesterday. Um, literally war. We had tanks, uh, air to ground missiles, AGMs, fucking javelins. Uh, there was at least a hundred people fighting. There was probably 40 on our side, 60 on theirs. Jesus. Apaches, tanks. Um, they were able to, through guerrilla warfare, defeat us. God and damn gorillas. And now they're, uh, they're, they're taking over Sandy. We're not allowed in Sandy. They're completely taking it over. Okay, Yesterday, so. There, were, there, there was propaganda aircraft spewing loud propaganda over the city. I heard that oh. Pug too. You heard that a what too? A war pug. A war pug. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna just improv this then. Okay. That's not that my haircut. Okay. I'm gonna just I'm gonna go off. Are you ready? I'm just off the yeah. cuff. This. Um. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me get my camera here. Okay. All right. It is the and unpre. And okay. Action. Good afternoon. And oh. Okay. Hello. Are we go? Are you gonna say three, two, one, or do I just go? Just, just go. I'm gonna say action. Okay? Say okay. When you say action, that's when I go. Okay. Ready? Okay. And action, go. Oh, I didn't know if I was supposed to go after the action or after the go. Okay, go. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> on action, go. Okay. On on action, go go. Okay. Okay. All right. Count me down. Go. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. I am Gigi Nolan, the, pro the press secretary of the Los Santos Police Department. It is the unprecedented nature of the challenge developing in Sandy Shores and Polito Bay that gives rise to your second obligation and obligation which I share, and that is our obligation to inform and alert the citizenry of Los Santos to make certain that all members of Los Santos possess all the facts that they need and understand them as well. The perils, the prospects, the purpose of our program and the choices that we face. No police department should fear public scrutiny of their program. 
For from that scrutiny comes understanding, and from that understanding comes support or opposition, and both are necessary to maintain a balanced middle. I'm not asking your newspapers to support a police administration, but I am asking for your help in the tremendous task of informing and alerting the American people. For I have complete confidence in the response and dedication of our citizens whenever they are fully informed. Uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Nolan, Mr. Nolan. Uh, uh, yes, yes, the, go ahead. From the Scav Gazette. Sure, uh, yep. So how do how does the uh, how does the police department respond to allegations by uh, the loss and members of the uh, People's Republic of Sandy Shores that that's a quote, by the way. Oh yes, well, um, as it stands, you know, I not only could not stifle any controversy among your readers, but uh, I would welcome it. You see, because this administration intends to be candid about its errors. For as a wise man once said, an error doesn't become a mistake until you refuse to correct it. We intend to accept full responsibility for our errors and we expect you to point them out when we miss them without debate, without criticism. No administration in no country even could succeed. And no true citizen of Los Santos could survive or thrive. And that is why it is Los Santos policy that it is a crime for any citizen to shrink from controversy. And that is why our press secretary is protected by the First Amendment. The only business in Los Santos specifically protected by the Constitution, not primarily to amuse and entertain, not to emphasize the trivial and the sentimental, not to simply give the public what it wants, but to inform, to arouse, to reflect, to state our dangers and our opportunities, to indicate our crises and our choices, to lead, to mold, to educate, and sometimes even anger public opinion. And uh, a follow-up if I could. Yeah, of course, go ahead. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Rudy Rinson is on record as saying, and I quote, I was put drug on my bill, I'll touch that. Uh, how, how does, uh, how do you respond to that? Yeah, sorry, what did you say was the name of this individual? Mr. Rudy Rinson. And once again, he said, um, uh, yeah. Um, well, you know what? To Mr. Rudy, I would say in response to that, that, uh, Truly, his analysis of the situation is, is no longer far away and foreign from the considerations of this department, but rather very close at hand and local. It means greater attention to improve the understanding of this news that we've received, as well as improved transmission of this news. And it means finally that the administration at all levels must meet its obligation to provide you with the fullest possible information outside the narrowest limits of national security. And we intend to do that here at Los Santos Police Department. It was early in the 17th century that Francis Bacon remarked on three recent inventions already transforming the world, the compass, gunpowder, and the printing press. Now, the links between the nations first forged by the compass have made us all citizens of the world. The hopes and threats of one becoming the hopes and threats of us all. In that one world's effort to live together, the evolution of gunpowder to its ultimate limit has warned mankind of the terrible consequences should any of us fail in our tasks to be members and citizens of Los Santos. Uh, th uh, thank you, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> he, even, he even handled the. I, was I know. I didn't even understand you know? what it's. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, just if you you can feel free to show that off to anybody in the police department. But I I could be your press your your press secretary. I think uh, together. I did need to scab it up a bit, you know. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> what, what you I'm trying to see if there's anybody. Bring, bring someone down here. Uh, Jenny's on duty. You think Jenny would be able to hire? Her? She's the under sheriff, so if she can't, <laughs> Anita's on duty too. No, no, she's not. I thought she was. No, uh, uh, Rhodes is the under sheriff. What? No, I thought Rhodes was. 
I'm so very confused. I thought Jenny had like, I thought Jenny had like signature authority. For Are we going to get hired chat? Are we going to get hired as the press secretary yeah, today? Mom? I thought she's like basically in charge. Angel. Pay attention to the what about Angel? Because most of them don't matter. Angel used to be able to hire, but I think she passed that on. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll probably need to speak to Fred or but, Like I said, Anita's there. Anita has that authority, doesn't she? Wait, is she on duty? Yeah, Anita's on duty. Yeah. She got on shortly after I did. Oh, what's her telephone? Hey McDrunken, thanks for the 22 months. Polly, thank you for the 16 months. Pongo Von Feinstein, thanks for the 15 months. Sinking ships, thank you for the 19, my friend. Did did you see that 911? Well, I didn't, but I could if I was working for hey, uh, you. Anita, are you no, I, I was talking with uh with with Dan. There's somebody. There's somebody that has a bomb in their car. That basically, speed has happened. Oh, shoot. Well, okay. Yeah. okay. Cleo Shaw, yeah. Sandra Bullock. I, I don't know how well that's going to work out. This is good. <laughs> really good. <laughs> it's going to be good, I promise you. Hey, right. we're, we're trying to get somebody down here that has a right. uh, hiring authority. So. All right. She'll be, she's in a pillbox. She'll be here in like two or three minutes. <laughs> Oh, so fantastic. That sounds lovely. Okay. I need I need to go meditate really hard and think about some water, okay? Okay, all right. Sounds good. He, he's got to go practice for his next concert. He's going to be doing baby, baby, baby. Ooh. No, he's not going to be doing that because it's not a Bieber haircut. I'm going to stand right here, by the way. I need to take a pee inside my head, so I'm going to go do that. Yeah. Chat, if you've been sitting for the last fucking hour and a half, get up and stretch your butt cheeks, okay? I'm going to be right back, chat. Don't go anywhere. He's doing that. Um, make sure that you're getting good smoke in. Nice PP, uh, pay pay smoke there. PP smoke. Uh, make sure that uh, you're doing all the things that you shouldn't be doing as well. Okay. There you go. Oh, yep. Definitely be jumping on the bed. Do some yumping. You do some yumping. Whatever you do, do not stretch the bussies. All right. Yep, definitely run with those scissors as well. Don't hide, smoke and yump and run with scissors and jump on the bed and do all the naughty things. All right. What the hell's going on in chat right now? fuck is yumping and smoking and jumping and pumping and dumping in chat what is going on with the yumping and dumping in chat right now chat excuse me hey 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 chat quit your yumping and dumping and jumping chat quit your yumping and dumping oh you're gonna be in trouble chat Everybody watch the lower right hand. Everyone, everyone in chat, watch the lower right hand corner of your screen. Are you watching the lower right hand corner of your screen chat? Watch the lower right hand corner of your screen. make a McMilton character chat how can we not how can we not make a McMilton character
Hold on, I gotta, I gotta find something here, chat. If you don't watch the chat, if you don't fucking watch the chat, this is gonna be this is gonna be what you're gonna end up dealing with, okay? If you don't fucking watch the chat, this is what you're gonna end up dealing with. Sorry, um, Ron, this isn't part of the script. So if you don't fucking watch it, chat, that's who's coming out already. <laughs> so, so we're not really fucking around. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get that fucking costume, aren't I? In all honest, in all respects, I can see Ronald acting like that after all these years. Fucking right. Well, hello Hi. there. Aren't you just a refreshing drink of water? What's your name? I'm Lieutenant Anita May with Polito Bay Sheriff's Office. Well, it is a very nice pleasure to meet you. My name is G.G. Nolan. I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to come on down here and have a word with us. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Yeah. So what's been happening here is they're, they're testing my chops to be a potential uh, press secretary for the Los Santos Police Department. And so what they've been doing is just throwing ideas at me to see how I respond to them and see if I have the gift of gab. You know, the ability to respond in a way that is both timely, efficient, uh, and eloquent. So... If you would like to test me out, just go ahead. Give me, give me a story that I would be expected to present to the public with minimal time for preparation, and I'm just going to windmill it. Okay, all right. Uh, hypothetical question. Okay. There's been a sex tape with the chief of police and another officer in uniform uh, under a bridge by Mission Row going around the city. What do you have to say? Go. <clears throat> My good citizens of Los Santos. It is my honor and my duty to be here to bring these words to you. And I've selected my remarks tonight very intentionally. Some may suggest that this would be more naturally worded, the press secretary of the Los Santos Police Department versus the public, but those are not my sentiments tonight. It is true, however, that when a well-known member of administration demanded recently that our State Department repudiate a certain individual based on his activities with his colleague. It was unnecessary for, our to, for us to reply that this administration was not responsible for the press, for the press had already made it clear that it was not responsible for our administration. Nevertheless, my purpose here tonight is to not just deliver and not deliver the usual assault on the so-called press in response to these allegations. No, on the contrary, I have rarely heard any complaints about political bias in the press, except from a very few outspoken members of Los Santos, nor is it my purpose to not to discuss or defend the televising of the defense of any member of this administration. I think it is highly beneficial to have some 20 million Los Santos citizens regularly sit in on these conferences to observe if I may say so, the incisive, the intelligent, and the courteous qualities displayed not only by the press secretary of the Los Santos Police Department, but by all members of our administration in doing our due diligence to get to the bottom of this challenge. Uh, 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 Mr. Nolan. Mr. Yes. Nolan. Yes, go ahead. Uh, Michael Colt, uh, Los Santos uh, uh, Bedpost Daily. Um, how do you respond to allegations that a queen mattress was used instead of a California king? Well, I would say that my remarks are intended to examine the proper degree of privacy, which the press and all members of Los Santos should afford to any member of the administration and or their family. If in the last few months, you know, you, uh, the reporters around Los Santos and photographers have been attending church services with regularity, that has surely occurred to them 
on the other hand, I realize that staff and wire service photographers may be complaining that they do not enjoy the same green privileges, the local golf courses, which they once did, which has now brought them to filming locations such as under a bridge. It is true that perhaps my predecessor as the press secretary did not object as I do to the picturing of one's own privacy in action, but neither on the other hand, did he ever been a secret service man. He just for freaking 20 minutes and didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. I've got notes, I've got notes. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the press. I, I, I could go and write a whole article based on this, and it wouldn't say a goddamn thing. This is perfect. I don't I know. know if we're gonna use think, it. I don't know well, when. Think about what's going on in that. Sandy. <laughs> yeah, we. They're we using press here, and you can talk Why about it. Why can't we? That is true. That is true. Tell, tell me if you've ever heard somebody that could just spew propaganda that people would just soak up that wouldn't really actually tell them anything. Why are we listening to horror music? <laughs> I, 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 I'm amazed. Yeah, look, I, am amazed. I know, I'm speechless. Anita, we, we understand bank robberies, bank robberies are important, but this is our public image here. This is the public image of the entire police department. And at this point, I think it's more important than the bank robbery. Not only that, I think he'd be a good administrative assistant taking the, or like reporting and all that. Uh, 100%, but uh, oh, Brian needs to be the one hiring those, but uh, I can 100% like, uh, you know, the okay. mailer, and yeah, say, I sent, you know, this person, please do. I sent him the, the application already, so. But yeah, I mean, the press secretary part, he, I mean, I don't think we can have anybody in the city speak better than him. <laughs> while saying so much information, while saying nothing at the same time. We're, we're, we're going to try and get him in front of the mayor and be literally the press secretary for the whole government. Like at all the police departments, the mayor's office, the, the, the judiciary, all of it. <laughs> I'm glad you came down here. I told you I wouldn't disappoint you. Hey, show me your ID. Your identification oh, right now. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Woo. Someone who knows how to take charge. I'm into it. Here you go. All right. I'm out of here. All right, Anita. <laughs> Milty for mayor round two. You're okay. Hired. Take care, man. Wait, wait, what do you mean? What do you mean I'm hired? Oh, you're, you're, you're definitely hired. in. I'm in. You think I'm in? Okay, hold on. For, Allow me to. Press <coughs> secretary, yes. Hold on. Let me. Uh, let me. <coughs> you, still need to fit, you still need to fill out the application for like a dispatch. Okay, sure. Hold on. Just give me a sec. <coughs> Chairman of the press, chief. Oh, speak up. Speak up. Speak up. Oh. Uh, Chairman. Chairman of the press, chief. I appreciate very much your generous invitation to be here tonight, and to the fellow members of. The Los Santos Police Department, you bear heavy responsibilities these days. An article that I read some time ago reminded me of how particularly heavy the burdens of present day events must be upon your profession. And it is my hope that after we joined here today for this cordial conversation, I hope all publishers will bear this lesson in mind the next time they receive a poverty stricken appeal for a dirt piece on a member of our administration and call to mind instead their wish that each member of this city may be able to rest their head in bed safely at night, dreaming of a successful tomorrow. <laughs> I just had to finish off my speech. What'd you think? Yeah, it was, was, it was amazing. Yeah, okay. it was great. Was amazing. I'm okay. confused, but also amazed. <laughs> That's yeah. what it's supposed I'm, to be. That's the key. I'm, I'm enthralled, and I know I've heard something because there were very important <laughs> words there, but I don't know what I just heard. Yeah, at the same time, I've heard nothing. It's amazing. Exactly. You're, you're incredible. Fantastic. Well, let me just tell you two gentlemen, if you ever need an announcement to be made by the press secretary, you just tell those individuals to get in contact with me on the Discordian app, okay? I can have it done. I can have a two to five to 10 minute, whatever you need speech done right there in front of the podium, filmed and ready for distribution within short order, okay? Okay. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Well, gentlemen, I think I'm gonna show myself out to get some lunch. All right. All yeah. right. It's been a pleasure. Are you going to be coming back today or are you you, uh, you heading out? Well, I'm not too sure, Mr. Faley. We'll see how heavy my lunch is. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I, I, I don't get it. That's all right. I didn't expect you would. Uh, hey, I'll give you a little jangle lang though, okay? You can keep an eye on okay. the phone, okay? Sounds good. All right, now, uh, ugh, the doors were all locked when I tried to get oh, out. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me, uh... We could take care of that. <laughs> Chat, why are you raining? It's not Milton raining. Do you want me to end the stream now, Chad? Is that what you're saying? Here we go. Oh, thank, thank you both very much. You stay safe now, okay? All right, Mr. Nolan, you have a lovely day. I'll see you soon. And Mr. Yeah, Dan? I'd like to work for you uh, or work with you more. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Nolan. Oh, oh, oh. Good why, Lord. Why are you? Kissing? Thank you for the tutelage. <sighs> Take care. <laughs> 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 Why did he kiss me behind the ear? <laughs> hey! Our fucking bike is still here, dude. Pog. <laughs> uh, uh, well, chat, so much for the completely bland and uninteresting life of GG Nolan, huh? <laughs> we, we logged in with no job working for pretend at the uh, bank and we left hired as the press secretary for the entire government of Los Santos. Well, for the police department to start. <laughs> it's been a pretty pog day chat. What do you think? I think it's been pretty fucking pog. Two birds. Thank you for the 28 months, two birds. Hey, I appreciate you very much. Thank you. Asarello, thank you for the 12 months. Requesting permission to give my balls a talk. Give your balls a talk, tit fucker. Kick me 89. Thank you for the $5, my friend. Penguin jousting. Thank you for the 10 months of loveies, dude. You're already a month behind on child support. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you, Shorzy. The title defies the content now. Damn it. You should see some beautiful art that Labot made. I doubt that that's beautiful. And I actually doubt that it's art too. Really, if I'm being totally honest with you. Oh my God. 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 Sir, what did you do? Hey, you're gonna need to take 20% off of it there, boss, and give me just a couple seconds to sort my life out here. <laughs> Whoops. Sir, did you set a trap up there to trap? You're trapping clowns? Were you a clown trapper? Ah, uh, what happened? Hey! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck is this? There I was. This is the worst Showing fucking thing, dude. When you set up a trap. What? What? Are you, excuse me, sir. What are you talking about? I set up a trap. I fell off my moped, and I never fall off my moped. Well, you clearly did one time. You ding dong. <laughs> Oh, well, no, you're not calling me a ding dong. You're, 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 you're a ding dong. You're a ding dong. And you know what? Take it back. You know what? What? I think you're. I think you're stupid. <gasps> I said it. I said it. And I don't care. About me. <laughs> Are you crying? I would like to make a complaint. I would like to make a complaint. What? You gotta follow the road. I would like to make a complaint. The gentleman there in the mask threatened me and made all sorts of disparaging comments about me, and I was trying to run away in fear, and then I saw the police car, so I turned around. He's right there, and he said hurtful things to me, and I don't appreciate it. I need someone to help me. I need someone to help, damn it. Scruffy, what did you say? Scruffy. What? What did you say to him? I asked him why he set a trap to make me fall off my moped Which and then I he started the crying and he also punched me i did not oh. punch him he said and i quote i think you look stupid he said that to me and i oh, don't dear. think Whoa. i look stupid and you know, okay. I, I don't, okay. I don't, I don't, okay. yeah you're you're talking to the press secretary of the los santos police department buster no, 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 no. 
Well, you're talking to the landscaper you're and janitor of like, Town Hall. You're in trouble now. You're talking to- oh, I work for Town Hall, buddy. I'll tell you what. I work with them politicians. Yeah, well, guess what? Da Mr. Dan Faley promised me that I'm going to get to fly a VTOL solo, so there. Well, Dan Faley is my neighbor, so and I was going to invite him to my barbecue. Solo. So I don't think he's going to go against me. He right. said that Negative. I was. I he, he said that hey, I was. Neighbor, he said doing? that I was stupid and that if I didn't fight hey, him, there? he was going to leave a bomb in the front office of the police department. That's oh not true. What? That's oh not God. true. That's what, what he that's said. Not true. He said that he, not true. he had a six-part plan to start that's a fire in an orphanage. He said there was part plan. He said the Sandy Shores. <gasps> the, the, Holy the, Lord. The Sandy the Sandy Shores Center Can for Smiles Orphanage. He says he's got a six-part plan to set it on fire. Okay, and if I didn't fight him, he was going to do it. an orphanage. That's what he said. That's what he said. There. Yep. Yep. Guys, he said that guys, he, he said that he was going to take me to Polito Bay, guys, where he's going to take me true. to the kitten rehabilitation guys. center, where he was going to let off an anthrax bomb. Guys, this point oh Dexter yep. here called me a ding dong and punched mm. me in my head. And then rode away via bicycle. Okay, that crying. is incorrect. That is incorrect. In and fact, now I'm here being gaslit. Oh, whoa. and my pride whoa. is Wait, did on you the just line. Say gaslit. Yeah, did you say yes. gaslit? He just said gaslit. He said gaslit. He said gaslit. That's it. That's done. I'm not even gonna waste my time. <laughs> Get bad, <didn't> loser. Wow. <laughs> hey, Ashers, thank you for that prime sub, Ashers. Is this McMilton's villain backstory? Is this my what? No, what shit is it? <sighs> I'm not even. I'm not even addressing it, chat. I'm not even addressing it. I don't fucking look like this. I don't fucking look like that. That's not what my fucking haircut looks like. <laughs> Fuck. Chat. The price is right guy. No, the price is wrong, motherfucker. That's not what I look like. It was awesome seeing you on the Price is Right show today, Milton. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my God, you look amazing in that photo. Shut your mouth. Prove it, put the same shirt on and we'll judge it. Shut up. Hold on, let me go get it out of my drawers. I mean, I don't have that shirt. I don't own that shirt. <laughs> That's clearly Alan Tucci's brother, Chad. Ashers, 1982. Thank you for that prime sub. Check your Twitter ads. I, I tweeted you a promo tweet about your haircut. Oh my God. Okay, I'll check it after the stream, Labot. Jesus. We need Gigi Nolan's supervillain press secretary. <laughs> I can see the resemblance. It's uncanny. Thoughts on the gawk gawk gif? The gawk gawk gif. You know, I don't even know what the gawk gawk gif is. Unless. Are you referring? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Why? Why? Why can't we have nice things, chat? Why have you done this? Hey there, chat! Want me to play a little tune on your slobbly doo ha ha Oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad that I got that out of the way. Hey! Hey! Welcome, everybody! Oh my Lanta! Wow! Hey, 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 hey! Uh, great to uh, great to see you all from Kit Bogus Channel. Hey, I've got a couple of pieces of information for you today, Kit. So, uh, Kit at Al, Kit Boga and friends. So, uh, over here at um, over here at uh, the Democratic People's Republic of Milton T. Pike One. We've just been, you know, just hanging out, relaxing, maxing all cool and shooting some b-ball outside of the school. And um, this morning, I, so no one had seen me, no one had seen me with my haircut. I got a haircut yesterday. I'm growing it out very long on top because my, I, my end goal is to eventually be able to braid it all the way back. So I'm growing out my hair, but for now, it looks like this, okay? For now, it looks like this. And I log into Twitter, today to see this no god Hi. Hey. 
<laughs> that was not what I logged in to see. That was not what I logged in to see for God's sake. Listen, there's been a lot. Oh my God. Okay. So this is my haircut. Okay. I'm growing it out long on the top so that I can do something cool with it later. And I log into Twitter and I see this. It was awesome seeing you on the Price is Right show today, Milton. That is not me. That is not what I look like. I don't care that this guy's name is Milton. This Raymond Strange posted that picture before anyone even knew that I had my haircut. That is not what my haircut looks like. For the record, okay? For your information. And then chat's been giving me a hard time because every time I turn on a picture, they always tell me, oh, hey, Milton, I thought you weren't gonna turn on your face cam. Every time I show them this, ha -ha! y'all ready for an adventure? Ha -ha -ha! <laughs> Hence where this came from, okay? I don't know, chat. All right, I don't have an, I wish I had an explanation for you, but I don't, okay? I have no explanation for you. So, Today we are, so let me turn off that horrifying picture. <laughs> let me turn this off, okay? And if you ever caught this around, you left me to deal with Buster! Okay, um, so today, as you can tell by the title of the stream, uh, we were participating in the uh, the totally uninteresting life of GG Nolan, and uh, in, <laughs> we were going to see if we could get a job working as the secretary at the hospital, and now we are the press secretary for the Los Santos Police Department and possibly the entire city of Los Santos. Ah! I'm deleting that. I'm deleting it. It's going to play every time I switch to this scene. I'm deleting it. This... Kiboga, thanks for the tier three for 35 months until a couple of guys who were up to no good started causing trouble in the neighborhood. What? Trouble in this neighborhood? Not while Milton's watching, no sir. <laughs> Thank you so much to everybody coming over from Kiboga's channel. Now, what is a tradition for us when we get a raid from Mr. Kitty Boo Boo? It's to play you a tune on the toot. This is called the Celtic Low D. Whistle, the Celtic low D whistle. He doesn't know. What don't I know? What don't I know? What don't I know? You don't know more than I don't know. In chat, put a low D between your orders in the future and get one today. Learn how to play. Easy to play. Six holes, 12 notes, and an entire musical cornucopia awaiting you. Okay? Is this jazz? Baby by Justin Bieber. What? What did J Reality just say? Ah, yes, a cut off Tool's new album. How did you know I was so excited for it? Shut up. Shut your you shut you shut why is there no one working at burger shot is no one work at burger shot anymore don't tell me i'm gonna have to go to the uwu cafe and spend 900 dollars on a meal do not tell me that i have to go and spend 900 dollars at the uwu cafe to get a basic meal i'm gonna be upset no joke do you resell the low whistle maybe you could get some commission from all the sales do I resell the low whistle? You mean, do I put the D in my mouth and then sell it to somebody else? No, I don't do that. Okay, for goodness sake, for goodness sake. The six figure income, four figure burger. Yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> Is Chihuahua dogs open? They're not super expensive. Oh, that's actually a good question. Let's take a little gander here, taking a little peeky poo. What was their name? Chihuahua, Chihuahua. Dang it! Okay, we're gonna go back to the hospital and see if we've made an impression. The uwu song? Don't make me sing the uwu song, chat. Do not make me sing the uwu song. Just please 
We've had a nice day today, chat. We've had a nice day today. We don't need chat, right? We don't need to, uh, we don't need to do that, do we? Nope. We can just leave that one unsung, really, honestly. And I wouldn't even be that upset about it. I type I yeah because I will like furry porn and other weeby stuff like hentai. Oh oh come on everyone type it oh 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 what are you afraid, afraid to type, Boo? We'll, we'll have a least kick W. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh. Clip clop. My little pony's a great cartoon. I watch it and ooh, woo. Aya, aya. Aya, I want more. I want more as my background on my phone. Aya, aya. Aya, aya. Ooh, 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 kick W. I have a body pillow of Sailor Moon. Watch furry porn Not, not for, for the, the sex, but for the, the art ooh, ooh, I, yeah, ooh, 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 I, Now, yeah, for anyone who hasn't heard this I, song yeah, before And you've been uh, thinking to yourself uh, Man, uh, this song is pretty uh, stupid uh, Just uh, wait, uh, you uh, haven't heard anything yeah. yet uh, I'm, I'm not gay, gay But I think I'd fuck Harry Potter Oh, well, I, yeah, oh Oh, well, this streamer likes it when we Oh, oh, so let's Oh, oh, I, yeah, oh Chat is moving so fast, no one will notice I uh, will or that my mouse pad is McCree's bare ass. Add me on Discord so I can uh, will all day long. I have more weepy emotes. Than <laughs> God I like damn to it! Share. Why is the Jabuti so in here right now? Shit! <laughs> Oh God! Oh well, type I ya oh well in the Twitch chat. Oh well, I ya oh. <laughs> Kit Katie, thank you for the five gifted freaking subscriptions. Hey, I appreciate that very much. Um, Magic Manders also came in with five gifted subs. Elbowo in the boot scooting uwu, the worst name with five gifted subs, and Toad Thumpers with five gifted subs too. Chat, can I see some pogs and claps in chat for Toad Thumper with the five gifted subs? Elbowo in the boot scoot uwu with the five gifted subs. Magic Manders and Kit Katie with those five gifted subs each. Thank you very much. Boom and Chan, thank you for the nine months. Craigie, thank you for the 10 months. Um, the Kraken, thanks for the 14 Kaz, thank you for the 26. Zool 210, thank you for the six months. Rosenai, thank you for the 17. Gert Turtle, thank you for the three years. Cadence, thank you for these 12 months. Mock Mike, thank you for the half of a year, my friend. Okay, chat, now listen up. It is getting to that time of day where we're going to have to say our farewells, but wait, it is a special kind of day first, chat. It is my big bop bops birthday today chat it's my big bop bop's birthday today he turns 40 today the big four zero today chat my big bop bop turns 40 and he's streaming right now he's streaming right now chat so here's what i thought we would do okay i thought we would send the party over to my big bop bop stream to, to celebrate it being his birthday and i tell you what if we hit a level five if we hit a level level five hype train i'll gift 50 subs to him I'll gift 50 subs to him if we hit a level five hype train, okay? Um, he also he also gets an email every single time he gets a new follower. So if you're looking for someone to follow who streams f basically five days a week, Monday to Friday, starting at 9 a.m. Eastern, text me 314, just toss him a follow. And uh, if you've been looking to drop a gifty sub, I will gift 50 if he gets to level five of the hype train. Toad Thumper, thank you for the five gifted subs. And Barlow, oh my God, thank you for the five gifted subs. What the heck? Hey! Wow, thank you both. Vanilla Cream, thank you for the 29 months on Cal. Thanks for the 19. Chat, you can follow 
follow me on uh, Twitter, twitter.com slash Milton T. Pike one, discord.gg slash Milton T. Pike one, um, and uh, youtube.com slash C slash Milton T. Pike one. We also have a VODs channel. If you like watching the, uh, if you like watching the GTA VODs, hey, Galactic Tide, thank you, Galactic Tide. What the heck? If you like watching the GTA VODs and you like watching it with the on chat, on screen chat replay, we upload all of our VODs to the VOD channel. So make sure you follow that VOD channel as well. Galactic Tide, thank you. Java Kitten, thank you for the 500 bits. Now, without further ado, chat, let's go here. Okay. So, uh, chat, we're going to send the party on over to my big Bop Bops channel. That is TechSmith314. It's his birthday today, chat. Uh, so feel free to wish him a happy birthday. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, chat. Seriously, I had a fucking blast. Uh, we are going to be back for more streams this week. Um, and uh, I can't wait to spend that time with all of you. Thank you for being here, chat. Also, I still absolutely have intentions for us to watch all through Arcane. Thank you very very much for keeping me company have a wonderful afternoon or evening or whatever time of day it is for you please be good to yourselves please be good to each other you are wonderful beautiful people who i appreciate very much okay thank you for having fun with gg i'll see you for the next stream again very soon love you chat lots of smoochies blah, 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 blah.